This is a full game being downloaded within, what was that, five minutes? How much gigs is this? I think this game is like 40 something gigs. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, never, m well, actually, hold on. Yeah, I can play it without the update. I don't need the update. Psh. 23 minutes for an update. Let's see. If it's not playable, we'll do injustice, but no, it'll work. It'll work. Let's see. Barry, my vote for Batman skin goes to the Batman Beyond suit. Okay, we'll do that on the second stream. Just because I want to show off what he looks like in his true Arkham fashion at the start of the game. But yeah, we're definitely doing Batman Beyond next time. You know, I'm not even going to bother turning off the music for this. Just because the music is so good in this game. It's some of the best music. Like, sometimes I'll listen to this soundtrack in, like, the shower. And pretend something really dramatic's happening. Because you see, like, the raindrops and everything. And also, like, it's great in the gym. When I used to listen to music in the gym, I'd listen to this. You hear that? Is that sick? Man. I want that to be my ringtone, but I'd have to change the Mortal Kombat theme. That's what my ringtone is right now. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay. So all of this is unlocked. Or locked. Anyway, this is the new game, right? Yeah, okay, good. New game. We'll do hard. <laughs> I can actually handle harder than this game. Arkham Asylum, it was actually... It was a little too hard. This one's fine. Up the brightness a little bit. Boom! Let's do this. Barry, do you know how much game time is in the story mode? I have no idea. But I, I know... I've played this game like 10 times in my lifetime. I could speed run this. Don't touch it, man. Even though I haven't played this in like a year. Yeah, we're not getting any Riddler stuff in this one. When I say Riddler, I mean... We're doing the side missions, but we're not doing trophies or anything like that. Arkham City. Why would he come here? You guys just need to... Yeah, I wonder how fast I can complete this. Should we do that? Low-key speed run. What the hell? Sorry to disappoint you, boys. It's just little old me. That's what's up. Oh, look at those graphics, baby! Ooh, it looks so nice. It's shiny. Oh my god. Holy moly! I wasn't expecting it to be this good. What the? That's a big, big update from Arkham, Arkham Asylum. This is like photorealistic. Oh this my gosh. We'll be quick. Dude. Holy moly, ravioli. <laughs> this looks so real. I don't know how well you guys can see it on a, a stream, right? But like, face to face with the PS5? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I had no idea. Was that flawless? I think that was flawless. I don't think I got hit a single time. Now that they're all taken care of, it's time to get what I came for out of that safe. That's what's up! Oh, oh, look at these graphics! Oh my god! Look at that snow! What? What? Bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo! Oh, I gotta admire this for a second or two. What the heck? I mean, this is a speed run. That's right. That's right. Focus, Barry. Wow, that's that looks so good. Try and get one over on me, will you, Har? That's so crisp. I don't think so. If this is how good this game looks, imagine how good Arkham Knight looks. Oh my God, bro. Take me to a whole new dimension. <laughs> that's Did how realistic it's gonna look. This story is one of the best of all time. We have much to discuss. Strange. You won't 
get away with this. I already have. Vicky Vale. Vicky Vale, reporting live from Arkham City, the controversial super prison built right here in the heart of Gotham. Yo, this game gives me chills, bro. See you later, Shawnee. Thank you for watching. The infamous Playboy millionaire has never been one to. Billionaire, Vicky. Billionaires are so last year. It's so pomp. It's billionaire now, Vicky. Millionaire is so last year. Get with the times. I assume that you thought yourself untouchable. Well, as you can see, no one is untouchable. <laughs> Dan said Vicky Vale is kind of hot. You, I don't find her hot, but I think I think Catwoman's kind of hot. Gang leaders are fighting a bloody war in the middle of our once great city. I don't blame you, though, bro. From Arkham Asylum and Blackgate Prison has been relocated to this. Because in Arkham Asylum, bro, the, the characters in that game look low-key sus. They look kind of weird, you know, especially like the female ones, like Poison Ivy. It's out of control. And Harley Quinn, she has like this blinking problem in Arkham Asylum. Like her eyes are closed like half the time for some reason. Yeah, but in this game, the characters look way better. Okay, look, that was the first hit that he took to the face, Bruce Wayne. Watch how many concussions this dude takes in one game, let alone the first five minutes. Tell me he doesn't have a brain injury. Watch. Okay. <laughs> Yo, look at his arms, bro. Why is he so close to his face? That's kind of sus. What's she trying to do? Kiss him or something? <laughs> like he was like inches from his face. <laughs> oh man. Yo! Oh man, I've been waiting to play this game again for so long. Wow, this game just does not get old. Okay. What the hell are you doing? Escaping. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I'm escaping. Duh. Oh, I could I couldn't counter that. Look, two hits to the two hits to the face in two minutes. This is the concussion speed run. Watch. <laughs> is that what prisons really like? That's what they say in all the TV shows. Okay. Okay, okay. So, I don't know if you know this. I'm going to show you something cool, Dan. I'm going to show you something cool. You want to see something cool? Alright. I feel like Bruce Wayne looks kind of weird in Arkham Knight. But he looks fine here. For some reason. Like his face. Like it looks different. <laughs> Move aside! Oh, is it this line? It's this line. <laughs> Duh. Oh, I can do first person? Oh, that's right. Okay, so this is what's pretty cool. You see that guy right there? This one right here? This is Deadshot. This is Floyd Lauded, Deadshot. That's a reference. Bang. You're going to see him again in a second. So I don't know if you noticed that. Three hits to the face within two minutes. He's getting a hit to the face each minute. Cuffs can stay on. We don't want to make things too easy, do we? Close the doors. Okay, another fun fact. This guy right here is Jack Ryder. And in the comics, he's the creeper. press conference. Now here we both are. I guess Alter that'll ego. teach you to get involved in politics, won't it? Listen to me carefully. When they open the door, do not panic. Stay close to me. Do you think I'm taking it? Yo, he low key looks a little bit like Lord Farquaad, actually. <laughs> low key, like a really tall, muscular, 
handsome version of Lord Farquaad. <laughs> Yo. You know, should I just let this guy just get beat up? Like, cause I can kinda delay this. Oh, another fun fact. Azriel, you can see him up on the rooftop right now, watching. Bro, I know all the fun facts in this game. It's pretty nice. Oh, this guy's getting whooped. All right, I'll save you now. I'll save you. I said, get up. It says rescue Jack Rider. That's funny. Watch, watch. Four hits to the face, to the head, in four minutes. Watch. Ready? 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 How does he not have a concussion? What? Is his head bulletproof? That was four hits directly to the head. <laughs> That's mad, dude. Wakey, wakey, Watch, and if wakey. I don't counter this, five hits to the face. Oh, what's up? Do you need me to call your butler? <laughs> Hudson says, call when every game you stream, oh, you every game I stream has a Lord Farquaad lookalike. Yeah, first it was Star Lord, now your it's Bruce Wayne. My way. this Look at those graphics! Let's just call this what? Good old fashioned revenge. Oh my god, it's like I'm playing on PC. <laughs> what? So yeah, if I didn't block that, that would have been five hits to the face. No, he definitely did break your bloody hand. Oh, that's right, I can't evade. That's why I just got hit. I forgot about that. Now we can evade. See? Alright. This game is one of my favorites. Oh my gosh. I could just play this game over and over and over again. Oof. He took the guy's face right into the trash can. The dumpster. That's tough. Yeah, I'm a lot better at this game than Arkham Asylum. He literally just kicked that guy's ass. <laughs> Watch this. I Another fun thing you can do. Ground and contact Alfred. <laughs> Dang. Knock him out cold, baby. Dan said, Barry, do you, ha do you get to unlock a Bruce Wayne skin throughout the game? No, you don't, unfortunately. It would be really cool if you could, but I guess they didn't think that it would make sense. Yeah. It's unlike Injustice. Injustice 2, specifically. Okay. Yeah, I can legit speedrun this game if I really wanted to. We're gonna do kind of like a loose one in this playthrough. I think oh, one day I'll do like a location. professional speedrun for this game. More than usual. I need an immediate drop on the roof of the Ace Chemicals building. I'm on my way there now. Of course. <laughs> I watched your incarceration on the evening news. Shimmy, shimmy, ya, yeah, shimmy, ya. <laughs> Every single time. Not exactly. Although I did get someone on one time with Hugo Strange. And how was that? Not good. He knows that Bruce Wayne is Batman. He also told me that something called Protocol. I like how he talks about himself in the third person. Can't leave Arkham City until he knows that Bruce Wayne is Batman. Talk about airdrop, am I right? Right on time. That's pretty nice. Okay. Suit up, baby. He didn't even put on the eyeliner. You know when people in movies, I took an encryption they have a mask, a they take it off, and there's no eyeliner? It's crazy. Alright. Nothing like the cryptographic sequencer. <laughs> That's making a return. 
Officer 4011 is in the courthouse. I repeat, Catwoman is in the courthouse. Way to elaborate. Affirmative. Whoa. The target is being held by Dent. We believe he is Holy to mother. Kill her. How should we proceed? Yo, there's like a whole thunderstorm going on outside. I just saw lightning flash through my blinds, dude. Took off the headphones. It's loud. Holy mother! If there's one person in Arkham City who knows what's really going on, it's her. Oh, Hudson, Hudson, Hudson! I need to find Catwoman now. I was dreaming last night, right? And you know what happened? I actually. I met the actor who plays the reverse flash in my dream. Like, I lucid dream all the time. But in this one, I actually met the voice actor who plays him in the Flashpoint Paradox, C. Thomas Hall. I met him. I shook his hand. And I was like, dude, your portrayal of the reverse flash is one of the best. And he was like, oh, thank you. Oh, my God. Yeah. Give me some pointers. It's pretty nice. Fight over here. It'd be really funny if he had a dream and it was like him talking to some random person he's never seen before. Oh my god. Can you imagine? So I guess with Catwoman I might have gotten hit. No, yeah, see, I didn't get hit. Why is it showing the health bar? I did not get hit. Oh, this game is so sexy. This game is so sexy. Wow. Look at those graphics. Holy ravioli. Arkham City is going it was me, Barry. This will be easy. Bat. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. So if Shazam has Black Adam. Flash has reverse flash. Superman has Bizarro. What's Batman's counterpart that's like exactly like him? Is it supposed to be Hush? Is it supposed to be the Talon? Because the Joker doesn't really fit. I guess. You met him in your dream. That's hilarious. He'd say, It was you. <laughs> it was you, Barry. You were the one in the dream. It was you, Barry. Oh my gosh. Oh, Batman is Owlman. Oh, okay. Is that is that the different Earth version of Batman? Oh no, oh no, you mean you mean it's his brother, right? Is that is that the brother? Or is it the Talon? Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Poor guy. Huh, nice. Hmm. Okay. Let's take these fools out, baby. I'm not to dinner. We're taking them down. It's gonna be nice. Heads or tails, pussycat. Two guns, bitch. Watch, he's about to say that exact line. Beer. That's how we get respect. Show them all that we do things. I would say excuse my language, but they're gonna say that word like a good couple times in this stream. The Spine characters justice. say that like a ton. Killer, and they'll so. fear us. Bring out the defendant. You certainly know how to keep a girl hanging, Harv. Hey, have you had some work done? That's where stealing from us. No one steals from us. I'm sorry I've been a bad kitty. Bro. Untie me, and I'll make it up to you. Bro. Let's see if the coin thinks you're telling the truth. This cord is now in session. Yeah, okay, half cabal. <laughs> Bro, half cabal, half Johnny Cage. Okay. Taking out the thug with the gun is the key. Yep. Without him, it is the key, the the Batman. If I knock him out, does that make it faster? Oh, they don't even notice that because it's so loud. Okay. Ready? Ready? Okay, let's do it. This is going to be a blast. I love fights like this. 
one guy versus like 50. Why are they all running away? Oh, they're like, oh, they see Batman. They're like, nope, nope. <laughs> oh, man. I said nope really loudly that second time because I was about to lose the combo. Oh, the chair. The chair took me out. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, no, it wasn't the chair. He was shooting at me. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he's shooting at me, Two Face. Heads or tails, pussycat. That's Troy Baker voicing Two Face. Very well known voice actor. Don't worry about me, Batman. I'll just plays Joel in The Last of Us. He also. Wait, who plays Penguin in this game? Oh, that's Nolan North, that's right. I know a lot about voice actors, surprisingly. No, that's not really surprising, is it? Okay, yeah, I couldn't I couldn't block that. That's supposed to happen. Overruled. Overruled. Heads or tails, pussycat. Heads or tails, kitty cat. Oh, it's, it's kitty cat. Let's me out of here alive. Two guns, bitch! Oh my god. I remember 12-year-old me playing this, and I was like, that's that's hilarious. <laughs> he just pulls out a second gun out of nowhere. No gun harm? Shame. This is gonna hurt. Two guns, bitch. <laughs> that's never not gonna be funny. That's never not gonna be funny. <laughs> he just pulls the gun out of his back. <laughs> Bro. That's tough. How's it hanging, Harv? <laughs> Come to Kitty. <laughs> wow. Did ever tell you that you're full of surprises? I figured you could use my help, Selena. That's a specialty. Right. What are you talking about? I think I chipped a nail back there. <laughs> Funny. So what do you need, Mr. Detective? Protocol 10. What do you know, Selena? Never heard of it. That's not what I wanted to hear. What about Strange? I don't trust him. He's been missing for years, and then is suddenly put in charge of running Arkham City. Rumor has it he's been working with Joker, planning something very special just for you. Maybe that's Protocol 10. Isn't this plot intriguing? Yeah, it just gets more and more interesting by the minute. Watch me kill your favorite cat. <laughs> the ex-district attorney here said something. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, that's Greg Griffin. That's right. Yeah, she's still voicing Catwoman. She's good as her. This place is dangerous. I like it. You expecting a kiss? It was Joker. You're not safe here. No one is. Oh my god, look at his traps. Jesus Christ. <laughs> his traps are wider than my door frame. <laughs> Do you see that? Holy mother. Hudson said, I, kn I just know I liked Mark Hamill's Cut Joker. And I like that Mark Hamill was like in the man. Flash CW show. I just watched the episode with the trickster. Yeah. Yeah, he's a fantastic voice actor. What should we get for the upgrade? I'll do... Oh, critical strikes. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so helpful. Okay. <laughs> can we kill him? <laughs> no, we can't kill him. Oh, that's unfortunate. But we can talk to him. Oh, you should have finished me, Batman. We'll, we'll get, get out, out of this. this. And we'll be back. And we'll be back. Oh, so his voice is more gravelly than do I thought. Do I look scared, Harvey? You should. Fate is all that stands in our way. Oh, oh no! Coin says that your time is oh, out. that's right. So he has two then different voices. Die. See? One voice for Two-Face, one voice for Harvey. Oh, okay. So, the, okay, yeah. So the, the Harvey voice is more clear. The Two-Face voice is more dark. Gravelly. So this is a riddle right here. If we were doing riddles... I need to scan. I need to scan. The oh, that's right. I'm getting ahead of myself. Look at- Oh my god! Look at those volumetric god rays coming out of the windows ps5 graphics baby at its finest isn't that sexy oh look at that reflection Whew. that's tingly okay <laughs> oh my god this game is just so sexy wow 
Okay. Where's the thing? Oh, that's right. I need to look at the bullet. <laughs> what am I doing, Barry? Bro. I took forensics in high school. <laughs> I know what to do. Yeah, I got... I got... <laughs> what did I get? I got an A-plus in forensics. Oh, yeah. One of the few classes that I actually enjoyed. <laughs> Hudson asked, is his right arm extremely large in this game? Yeah, that's a common occurrence in the Arkham games. Batman's right arm is always, for some reason, particularly twice the size of his left. Look! It's here, too. Look. Look at his left arm. Okay, that's normal. Look at his right. What? What is that? Hold on. Let me do this again. Watch. Look at his look look at his hand, look at his arm, look at his forearm, look at everything. Look at this one. It's so much beefier. What is the deal? Oh my god. The rest of him seems to be symmetrical. I can't really look at his legs, but his arms, it's like it's crazy. Okay. Let's progress. Yeah, Hudson, his arm is ex to answer the question, yes. His arm is extremely large. 30 days has November. Okay, that's this calendar man in here. This freak. To give your mother a call, Batman, and come back His mother is dead. Me. <laughs> what a douchebag. His mother is dead, calendar man. Okay. So, the solution to getting out of... Uh... Watch. So, you see this electricity? Where is it? Oh, it's, uh, it's right here. You get a remote control battering if you don't know this. You take it, you go through it, and then you hit the fuse box in the bottom. I'm not gonna do it right now, but who knows? Maybe I'll do a, a speed run with getting all the riddles one day. Maybe I'll do that. A completionist, 100% completionist speed run. I won't do it for the trophies though because I already have all that. But I'll do it for the, the in-game 100%. Let's hope it doesn't get us killed. Has anybody ever done that? Oh, that would take like a while to do. Okay. Okay, let's, let's, let's look at this for a second. Before we continue, just look at this. Okay, first of all, the moon is still ridiculously large, just in normal Arkham style. But just look at this. What is that? It's beautiful. It's spectacular. One of the best looking games ever. Return to Arkham. I mean, no no cap though. Arkham, Arkham Knight's better looking. It is, but... This game still looks extremely good. Uh oh, he's gonna hit me. Yeah. You can't special cancel out of the ground takedown. I don't need that hit. I don't need the hint for the critical strikes. I know how to do it. It's distracting me. It's distracting me. Critical hits. Strikes. Holy crap, why did they do that? I don't know, maybe it's the camera angle. Maybe it's because we're on this side of him, that's why it looks so much bigger. But it's still kind of weird, isn't it? You know, his right quad actually looks a little bigger than his left, now I look at it. Yeah, his right his right leg even looks a little bit beefier. But his abs are perfectly symmetrical in the suit. Wow, did I really just say that? <laughs> anyway. It's Batman. Batman's the best around. Okay. This never will not be funny. <laughs> you just got curved. She just got curved, bro. That will never not be funny. She definitely buys all of her clothes at the back of Spencer's. No cap. Yeah, but she definitely does look a lot better in this game than she did in the previous one. She had, like, a really weird blinking problem in that game. In this game? No, it's normal. <laughs> These bozos? They're not even aiming their guns properly. They have it at the hip. We're about to use a smoke pellet. <laughs> Why is she running like that? Anyway. Attacking armed thugs head on. Oh, now they're aiming. Finally. Need to okay. Pick them off silently one by one. <laughs> Don't you move, Batman. Hudson said when Barry is playing Injustice with his hands okay. while playing he Arkham City with his eyes. Okay. She <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. 
<laughs> You're funny. But it's true, though. <laughs> uh, I pay attention to detail. And in Justice, it's right in front of your face the entire time. The camera angle doesn't change. In this game, you have more freedom to look around. This is gonna be easy. We need to get out of here. He's gonna get us. Yeah, I'm gonna get you, fool. Look at how brutal this is gonna be. It's gonna be fantastic. That is. You're safe. Stay quiet. That's tough. He's got a hostage. Yes, I know, Batman. I'm trying to speed run this. Let's go. I'm only speed. <laughs> yeah, I'm speed running it, but I'm also looking at all the the beautiful scenery. What's going on? Um, this is going on. Fool. Where is he? You'll be okay. Wait here. Okay, double takedown, baby. Yes, I know, Batman. Let's get to it. I can take them both in one. Fun fact, when you go to Joker and he traps you, you can see Harley's old outfit from Arkham Asylum in the back of the wall. Oh, yeah. On the, was it on the mannequin? Nice. The room is secure. You're safe now. The room is secure. You're safe now. He says it with more Yo, conviction Batman. at the end. Thanks for the help. Excuse me. You're welcome, Aaron Cash. He's still missing his arm, I see. His hand. His th Okay, that arm is not practical. It's not even like a... Well, actually, maybe it is more practical, actually, than a hook. It's like two little prongs. I don't know. Maybe you can, like, grab things with it. I don't know. What the hell made that woman come in here and do all this? Why kill us? Is Dutch asleep right now? Is Dutch sleeping? She's dangerous. Bro, Dutch joined the stream last night at 3 o'clock in the morning. Right when we were ending. And he was like, what's up, boys? Oh, man. Mm. This place is getting as bad as old Arkham. Thank God you got here, Batman. After what happened at the asylum, I thought you'd settle for a quiet desk job. Yeah, right. When Shark closed down the asylum, it turned out there wasn't much work for an ex-security guard who failed to stop a mass breakout. This is the only work I can get. Wow. What happened back there wasn't your fault, Cash. What was Harley Quinn doing here? That crazy bitch busted in <laughs> hours ago with the rest of these idiots. Took something up the tower, then blew up the staircase. Thanks. That's really I'll funny the way he said that. Wait, I mean, sorry, Batman, I forgot. Like, Batman but asks a question, and that's the instant thing that comes into his mind when he thinks of Harley is that crazy bitch. Lying, that's the first I'll thing Aaron Cash thinks you of. Concentrate on securing this church. <laughs> it should keep you all. Now, he's not wrong. We'll do. Hope you find the doc. Her name's Stacy Baker. She's one of the good ones. Let's see. <laughs> Hudson said, Barry out here like, ooh, look at that, it's Wayne Tower. Meanwhile, his hands. 112 cancel in a straight grapple. Meter burn back three, jump two, two two cancel a straight grapple. <laughs> okay, that's my favorite comment now. <laughs> yeah. Like, I've gotten, like, to the point where I could pull off combos in Injustice without even looking at it. That's how I'm able to read the chat while I'm actually playing the game and pulling off combos at the same time. Like, I even was practicing combos blindfolded uh, a couple days ago in Injustice. And it's, like, it's really all about timing. But, of course, the opponent wasn't ta attacking back. It was, it was just practice mode. But it's all about timing with the combos. Once you land that first hit and... It's hit confirmed. You're pretty much good. There's the gun. All you have to do is it get the timing like right after that, and you're done. By Joker. Okay, let's scan this up. Let's scan it up, baby. What's up? <laughs> yeah, me and Barry were just like, "What are you doing, Dutch?" I was like, "Dude, you're now waking up." <laughs> oh my gosh. And he was so he was so pissed off too that he was gonna miss like that he missed the stream. He was like, "No!" <laughs> He's like, "Are you serious? I missed the stream by that much?" The bombs. Yeah, we're not doing the bombs. We're just gonna hop out of here, skirt out of here real fast. Skirt, skirt. Right. Okay, so we can fly. Oh my god, at least now we can fly properly in this game. Arkham Asylum, that was limited. 
I love to hear the time spent in practice mode. Yes, it's essential. You can't really become great at injustice unless you play practice and you practice in practice. Okay, we already know where to go. Okay, so we're going to go straight to Ace Chemicals. Not Ace Chemicals, what am I talking about? No, no, we're going... Oh, I don't have the special grapple boost. That's right, because I'm starting again. Okay, it's okay. We can still do this. Lickety split. Okay. We're going to the steel mill. Sionis steel mill. And for you guys who know about Roman Sionis, that's Black Mask. We're going to Black Mask steel mill. It's Batman! Yes, it is Batman. Welcome We're playing Arkham Earth. City. What did you expect? Okay, but I am going to do all the um, side missions just because I think it's important. Why can't I drop? Bro, oh, now I can drop. Okay, good. Okay. Oh my god, I forgot how much, how helpful the grapnel boost was. Or like how much, how much longer it takes when you don't have the grapnel boost. Because you have to like individually jump up and like climb and then do it again and again and again. And Arkham Knight, they just give it to you, which is how it's supposed to be. Because it takes place after Arkham City. Duh. I forgot though, is it the front, e is it the front entrance or the back entrance? No, it's the front entrance we're supposed to go into. Okay. Oh no, we're supposed to go into the, the furnace. Where's the furnace? There it is. Alfred, I need to find a route into the Sionis steel mill. Dan asks, what does the grapnel boost do? So the grapnel oh, boost, think of that? as soon as you grapple, instead of having to just grapple again after, you grapple once and you boost so that it launches you up so you don't have to grapple again. Okay, which then. essentially allows you to keep gliding around Gotham without having to stop. So you can keep gliding, grapple, glide, grapple. And it makes everything a lot faster. Hudson says it was a whole 6.5 hours and then he came in within the last six, within the last five minutes. I know. I know. Oh, man. Yeah, that was really, really funny. Okay. Ooh, look at those fiery graphics. Oh, you can even see the gasoline. Oh my god. You can see like the the air. That's crazy. Oh, look at these rocks. Wow. These rocks are fascinating. Look at those look at those details. Look at that puddle. Oh my god. Yo. Where is it coming from? It's coming from up here. Oh my look at that detail. This this leak is there's, there's a leak. That's crazy. What does the grapnel boost do? Oh, it, no, it's not a Wayne Tech boost. So you see those little, like, red um, bat symbols around uh, Gotham? The one we just saw. I'll sh let me see if I could show you. Right here, this one. It's a side mission. It's AR training. You have to complete them all, and once you do, you get it. I have to say, I think AR training is the toughest part of the game, just because it's a little bit harder to control Batman's the movements when he's gliding, but... I've done it three times, I think, on Xbox, PlayStation, and uh, PlayStation again, so. It's definitely doable, and it's totally worth it. Okay. Like, <laughs> this game, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 7, they just don't get old. They just never get old. Same with Injustice 2. But... Not really the story of that game. It's it's really just the actual playing of it. The the play that is not get old, but the story. The story in Resident Evil 2, this game, Arkham City, and uh, that just ne it just never gets old. To be honest, there's not a dull moment in this game. As much as I like Arkham Knight, even that one, just because it's so such a big game, there is some moments. But this game, wow, this game yeah, is just perfect, Joker wants you to think he's sick. in my opinion. I know, not, I know people are not going to agree with me, but then again, a lot of people will. I promised you some entertainment, right, boy? Okay, so if you look here, she's giving a speech. Well, you should have tried harder. Oh yeah, that guy's dead. Are you, are you see the guy right there in the back, that giant clown who's buff with one arm and a sledgehammer? That's one of the Abramovich twins we'll be fighting in a second. There's two of them. One of them works for Joker, the other one works for Penguin. It's pretty cool. 
So, so should I do the training to get the boost during the story instead or after? No, do it as soon as you can. Do it as soon as you can because it'll make everything easier when you're going through Gotham. I was a... Oh, yeah, we gotta save her. Yeah, this is uh, one of the Abramovich twins. They were conjoined twins, and that's why they're both missing an arm. But they're super strong, though. They don't skip arm day. I guess every day for them is arm day, because they only have one arm. But... But they're super jagged. Th that one, ham he, he carries a giant sledgehammer. The other one carries a giant sickle. I'm pretty sure they call them hammer and sickle, unironically. Oh, I, I was in the right place. I was like, wait a minute, am I going in the right... I was. I saw the Riddler trophy and I was like, well, I'm not really going to get that. But actually... No, this is alright. Okay. Let's continue. Not bad for a guy who hasn't played it in a single year. Right? I'm actually remembering a lot of this. What up, baby? Yo, wh hold on, hold on, wait. It's not supposed to be showing me these critical strikes. Why is it showing me this? What? No, I don't have the tutorial enabled. Why is it showing me that? That's dumb. I don't need it. I like how you can actually counter projectiles in this game. Like these giant, like, furniture pieces. You can, you can actually, uh, throw back at them. That's nice. That critical strikes, I swear, that's distracting me so much. You know what? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn off the, the, the hints. I don't want hints. Okay, good. Yeah. See, now it goes away. Finally. Now I can focus on the action at hand. Yeah, so for the critical strikes, you just have to time it. Like a second after, and that way you get two times the multiplier instead of one. And this game has a lot more range too when you're fighting, which is what makes it easier. And a lot more fun to be honest, than Arkham Asylum. Okay, so as soon as I'm back in the open world, I'll do the training for the boost. That's awesome. I guess it's all about them boost. It is, it is. You know, one of these stores that's in the mall near me, they have a life-size replica of her. The Arkham City version Alfred, of Harley Quinn. Joker's hold up in the manager's office in the steel mill. I'm sure you'll find a way, sir. She, but, of like, in this game, she's 5'7". Some of his goons dragged But in real life, that, that mannequin, it's, like, ridiculously tall. I think it's because she's wearing heels. And, like, when they say in the bio, I don't think they actually, like, like they don't actually count that. Yeah, five. Seven. I know all of these characters' heights for some reason. <laughs> like I said, I played this game so many times, and I have an eidetic memory, so like I remember all the details. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, you could scan the trophy, but I'm not gonna do that. I need to find a different way to get past Joker's man. But you know what? I am going to have speed run for this game because I actually really want to play this game more. Okay. So, we gotta go behind them. Yeah, vantage points. And then, drop down. We could take them out or not, but I'm just gonna do it because it's gonna be fun. If we had the REC gadget, we could take them both out with the cars. But I think that's like a trip, or a trick for the um, New Game Plus players, because then you have that gadget. Look at those graphics! Wow! That is so good. Is this locked? Okay, we're gonna jump through the window. That's okay. Yeah, that's right. I figured. I figured. Okay, if we had the RC gadget, we'd blow that up. Actually, no. <laughs> Not completionist this time. Just for fun. Okay. Uh, special combo boost. Yes, we need that. That's that's always super helpful. You always want to get the combo perks first because it like helps throughout the entire game and the challenge maps. Okay, take him out first. He's not gonna see anything. Okay. This is one of the best maps, too. Arkham City, this game has the best maps in all the games. By far. The best maps. 
challenge maps. I, I used to play this all the time when I was, like, middle school, high school, <laughs> even after that. Oh my gosh. How long is today's stream going to be? Good question. Probably about three hours. We're already an hour and a half in, basically. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. He's not going to see me. Okay then, Barry. If you know all the heights, how tall am I? Also, your memory can't help here because I haven't told you and I'm still growing. Are you 15 or are you 16? Or are you a different age? Oh, did he hear me do that? I know all the heights in the game. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I just picked up a trophy. Crap. Can I blow this up with her there? Let me see if I can blow it up with them there. Is Riddler really talking to me right now? I don't care about you, dude. You're a loser. <laughs> I don't mean to be so mean to the Riddler, actually. He's, you know, I think he needs some, uh, some love, to be honest. That's why he's trying to impress everybody. Okay. He's just really annoying in these games. He's the most annoying character because he's very he's very condescending. Can you stand? <laughs> What's wrong with these people? That crazy woman thinks I can fix the Joker. You're 16. What's wrong with him? There's something in his Let's blood. See. Some kind of toxin. You're 510. Killing him. He blames something called Titan. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Am I close? He kept going on about his last laugh. Uh, uh, doc. Dan said, just know that it doesn't matter how long it is. I'll try my best to watch as much as I possibly can. It's not going to be as long as last night's live stream. But we will do a couple hours. We'll do um, two more hours of this. Yeah. Because I know that you like the three-hour streams a lot. What the hell are you doing? I need to get out of here. But I feel like I could beat most of this game in that time, to be honest. I feel like I can. Stay here. You'll be safe. You sure? If you hear anyone, I just need to stop lollygagging and looking and admiring everything every five seconds. I mean, <laughs> the game is just so pretty, though, to be honest. Okay. I don't need to talk to her, actually. I don't need to talk to you, woman. I got things to do, baby. I got goals to do. Gotta get this game 100%. Well, actually, not even that. I already have that. I mean, 100%. Oh, I don't even need this trophy, do I? Am I supposed to go here? Oh, it's back. We're supposed to go back. Let me just see this map real fast. Interrogate Joker. So... Breaking Joker's office. Yeah, okay. So I don't actually need to go here, do I? Oh, so we just went here to save her. That's what we did. Okay, I see. We have the REC gadget to open this door because that one's fused shut. Yeah, I said 510. That's what I said. Are you 510? You said it, I'm close? <laughs> That's kind of close, actually. Are you taller or are you shorter than 510? How close was that to it? Can we change Batman skin at the two-hour mark? It's okay if not, but it'd be kind of cool. I can do that. I don't mind. But that would I would have to exit the game to do that though. That's the only thing. Why? You chicken. Depending on how far we make it, we'll see. If I'm close to beating the game, then I'll do it. Because if we have time to spare, I'll do it then. If not, I'll do it for the next stream. Because then I won't have to exit the game. But then again, it's those PS5 load times, so we could do it pretty fast now that I think about it. Yeah, okay. Ask and you shall receive. Yeah, if you want to see that, I'll do it. Okay, now it's unlocked. Protocol 10 will commence. Five nine. See, I was close though, wasn't I? I was close. I know I, I know I said I'm not gonna do all the collectibles, but the Harley Head's just so fun to destroy. And it's so simple too. It takes like no time at all. Where's the other one? That's on that side, but I'm not gonna get it right now. Okay. We're making progress like crazy. Let me get this out. Okay. Pull it towards and then pull it away. 
PS5, we're already playing the game. What do you mean we're ready to install? What is that supposed to mean? Okay, let's... Ready? Ready for this? Ready for this? Ready? 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 Uh oh. Yo, his hairline is messed up. Bro, they all shop at Spencer's. What the heck? I swear, I've seen a mask that looks exactly like that at Spencer's. Except that's his actual face. You know what? You know what's bad when you look like a Halloween costume. <laughs> you know what's bad when your face looks like a Halloween mask. That's terrible. Oh, can I do the special... Oh, I don't have that unlocked yet. What the... That's right. I keep forgetting. I have to unlock everything again. But I'm going to do it real fast. I know the tips and tricks. What's up? Pew. Yeah, these guys are going down so fast. Faster than you could say it was me, Barry. Okay. Ready for this beatdown? Ready for this whooping? Oh my god, I'm gonna crush this dude. It's not even gonna be funny. Bro. <laughs> Yo, he stepped on his head. Watch. Six concussion in the game. It's been what? An hour? Watch. Another concussion. Watch this. Get out of my way, Quinn. Leave us alone, B-Man. <laughs> How often do you stretch? If you stretch more, you'll get taller. I said Especially move. since you're 16. You can achieve maximum growth potential. This is all your fault. You pounded him for years. Beat him to a pulp. And oh, I got you. I got you. Why are you so mean? Surprise! Okay, where did you leave off? Damn. Because we'll stop it before them. You said the racial ghoul fight, right? That was the last thing you did? Yo, look. He's about to get a hit with a metal baseball bat to the face. Come on. That's silly. Either he's losing teeth, or he has another concussion. Dude. Good. He's gonna be busy in the hospital for a while. What are you talking about? That's five concussions in one game. So and it's only been an hour. And the first four concussions took place within the first five minutes. Literally. Literally. And I could have been six if I let Penguin punch me. That's tough. It's tough. What will it be? Oh, well, you could do that. I would love to stretch, but I'm like the most inflexible person on earth. I started incorporating that into my daily routine. I, I've been stretching like every day now and it's crazy i can almost do a split johnny cage style yeah it makes a big difference when you when you do a lot of stretching you will like prolong the life of your body and your muscles because then you'll you'll be able to do all kinds of things when you're older too without breaking a sweat it's better for your joints and your bones and your muscles it's just really good you know and it also helps to loosen up as well that way your body's not as tense What up, baby? No, 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 no. That's I, I need this. That's what free, free, free flow focus. How long could I have gotten that for, though? Oh, this is ridiculous. I love this, but at the same time, it's dumb. Grab no gun makes sense, but a whip? You're telling me she's jumping around buildings with a whip? Watch me whip. Watch me nay nay. <laughs> Yo. You know, you can actually make her do the whip nay nay and injustice too. You can make her dance by doing two moves. The evade move is the nene, and you do the whip. <laughs> so you can actually make her dance in injustice too. But this game, not so much. Actually, I think you can actually. Hold on. Attack? Wait, can I whip? Can I do the whip? Where's the whip? Watch me whip. Watch me nene. <laughs> no, that's not as good. It's not as good as injustice too though. Oh, okay. You just finished the Ra's al Ghul boss fight. The demon's head! The man who trained Batman under a different name. That's what's up. Oh, this is Catwoman's apartment. Wow. For all the stuff she steals, she really does live in a <laughs> shady neighborhood. Still. Actually, no, that's actually a nice apartment. She's a fancy fireplace. 
I mean, that mattress, I mean, that, that mattress is just kind of in the middle of nowhere, to be honest. There's no sheets or anything on it. Are those scratches on her mattress? Like, what is that? Why is it so rusty? Oh my gosh. And look at how sus this entrance is. That's weird. Yeah, there's something wrong with it. Oh, look at those cats. They're chilling. They're chilling and grilling. That reminds me, I need to start carbo loading. Carbo loading. Oh my god. Oh man, when Rigby says that, it's just the funniest thing. Woo! She's fast. She's fast AF. I like that. She's really fast. Batman's nice too, but he's a little slower. Okay. Mm, it's good to be home. She's a cat lady. <laughs> oh man, she's got. I mean, I know she. Her name's Catwoman, but goddamn, she's got a lot of cats. Okay, Selena. Time to find Ivy. Let's hope. Was that three cats? Ready. And that's just in the alleyway. That's just outside. Imagine how many cats she has inside. I literally love playing as Catwoman. Yeah, she's fun. She doesn't. She. She's. She's easier to kill than Batman. Like she takes a lot more damage, but she's a lot faster. That's cool. Like I can get some insane combos with Catwoman. It's crazy cuz she's so fast. I love playing as Nightwing though and Robin as well. That's so good in this game. That's like one of my favorite things is just playing as those like just the the challenge maps. That's another thing of how the game just doesn't get old. I'm not fighting them because I don't we're gonna get right to the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill, chill, chill. Oh! Why can't I jump? What the? Whoa. That was weird. I couldn't jump over that for some reason. Alright, so we're going over here to uh, confront Poison Ivy. Oh. Oh, that's right. There are goons here with guns who are... Yeah, they... they um, they're brainwashed with their pheromones. Oh shit, he sees me? Yeah, we're about to die real fast, boys. <laughs> hold on, hold on. They're gonna come, they're gonna come to me. I need to, I need to drop. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Don't shoot me. Okay. <laughs> that was on me, that was on me. I didn't see the other guy. I was rushing it. That's good to know though for the next, for the, for the actual speed run, the for official one. Now I know what to do. Three of them right there. Okay, good. Hey, 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 hey. He's all the way down there. Oh, that reminds me. Last night, I forgot to say, I think Rachel Ghoul would be great in Injustice. I said that. Oh, did it cut out when I said it? I said I think Rachel Ghoul or Katana is going to be in the next one. It's going to be one of them, if not both. There's definitely going to be Rachel Ghoul, though. I kind of want Katana, though, to be in the game. She's pretty sick. It's pretty awesome. Because now, when Damien comes back, he's going to be full Nightwing. And he's going to have the staff, so he's not going to have a sword. So it's Raish who's going to have a sword, and probably Katana. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, and Deathstroke. Deathstroke, I have a pretty good feeling about. Katana, not so much. But Deathstroke and Raish, for a fact. They were just flowers, Ivy. I'll buy you some new ones. I know a place that... <laughs> Come on, Red. Can't we just... Oh, for the love of... It's like Alien. I think that'd be a very cool one. Yeah, it is a good prediction. And the dialogue between him, hey, Batman, Cammy, him, and Damien. Here's an idea. Have if they had the Arrowverse hints against uh, Green Arrow too? Yeah, you're absolutely right. I think, because a lot of people thought Rachel Ghoul would be in Injustice 2. Because that first trailer with them fighting, it has Brian Cranston narrating. And he says, Each time I enter the pit, I emerge stronger. When he says pit, like, everybody thought that he meant Lazarus pit. So they really thought that Rachel Ghoul would be in Injustice 2. 
but he wasn't for some reason. But I'm certain that he's gonna be in the next the next game in some way, shape, or form. It just makes sense that he would be. Okay. I don't think Katana, just because, even though she's cool, she's less... Oh, Katana, Katana. Less demanded and not as talked about as much. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But I definitely think Black Lightning is returning, though. Except this time as a main roster character. Oh, that was on me. How did I miss that? No, I just wasn't... There we go. We got this. Flawless, baby. Well, this one, this fight specifically is not flawless. But the rest of my fights. Oh, yeah. She's so graceful, too. That's pretty cool. Yo, she just kissed him, bro. I remember I was like, ooh, that's so gross. Like, I know it's a counter to distract them, but still, I mean, it's kind of nasty. I mean, I, I think that guy was wearing a mask. Yeah, half these goons wear a mask, or they wear like a like a Are we done yet, Ivy? like a half face mask. What? If there's a name, uh, Balaclava, I think. So I guess it's not She's really, consistent. but I'll give her that. still, it's still kind of gross. No cap. A billion microorganisms will enter your bloodstream. Spores will grow, replacing the blood in your veins. And when I'm done, your flesh will be replaced with blood. Oh, that was sick. Whoa! She, oh, that's she's shooting stuff at me. Yo, stop shooting stuff at me. It's throwing me off, Ivy. Yo. Okay, good. Oh, it's actually not hard to dodge when you're actually paying attention. I am not dying a single time in this playthrough. I'm just not. It's not going to happen. This is on hard mode. But to nail this, it's to be sick. Excuse me. Okay, Poison Ivy still looks weird. You've got so many it's the same character design from Arkham Asylum. But yeah, she looks really weird. Catwoman looks good. Tally Al Ghul looks good. Dan said that Vicky Vale looks pretty hot. I think Harley Quinn looks better in this game. Get back here. ones who you think they are, my dear. Why spoil the fun? Mm. It was all a lie. There's nothing wrong with you. Nice of you to say, but you of all people should know. There's plenty wrong with me. Plenty wrong with me. That's nasty, Take dude. He's got example. like STDs all over his face. Somebody would. This stuff is like, what is that? Me. Oh, it's the Watch Joker talking. That's right. <laughs> because now there's a teeny little bit of me in you too. I guess coming out of the pit, oh, I guess on. coming out stronger, leaving the pit makes sense, too, <laughs> because it heals you. Yeah, exactly. But, like, in that context Look, of the trailer, apparently they met, like, they, there's, like, a fight. They didn't actually mean the Lazarus bit. So for some reason. It was taken from me. So we both die. I'm fine with that. Are you? Imagine. Down that Yo, Batman's eyes in this are like glow in the, the, in the dark. Those blue <laughs> eyes. About? It's like oh, luminescent. Actually, everybody's I've eyes in this game are like luminescent. Catwoman's green show. eyes are like glowing. Oh, Same with Joker sick. here. So that's Protocol 10. That's crazy. Poison Gotham. I expected more. Protocol 10? <gasps> Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Hold tight. I'm going for a yeah. ride, baby. Okay, look. This man has taken six concussions, and now he's fell out of a plate, like a plate glass window. Stories down, tied straight on his back. Look, that makes no sense. I know it's Batman, but still, look, a foot more vertical, and his head would have been cracked. 
against that that uh that um I'm listening. That ledge thing. What you he would be dead. Oh, His neck would have been snapped. Well, kill ya. Nightwing oh, style, an injustice. <laughs> Where is the cure? Who has it? I had our cold hearted friend, Mr. Freeze. Oh Hudson, what if they What if they bring back like the Joker with the Lazarus pit for Injustice Three? I didn't even think of it like that. Oh, you're good. You're good. Man, I'm thinking it's Alfred, like Joker's that's a good way to bring some back some characters. The Lazarus pit. pit. Mr. Freeze has the only cure. What are you waiting for then? Oh, and Red Is Hood's probably going to be a main roster character him. because if only it was that simple. He'll be somewhere cold. We'll see. He needs to be kept at sub-zero temperatures to survive. The GCPD. I don't wish to worry you, but it is the middle of winter out there. Look at that. I noticed. This is like some Skyrim level sky graphics up here. This point in Arkham City. Like winter hold sky graphics. Okay. All right, so Azrael's up there, right? Yep. And then we can see him on the other side too. What's up, Azrael? I have been watching you, Batman. That's not creepy. To see if you at all. <laughs> no, that's very creepy. I've been watching you, Batman. Studying your every move. Okay. Finally, now we can get this. That's a useful. Okay. Let's go Freeze to the GCPD, baby. This way. I'm definitely heading toward the coldest point. I know what? Real fast. We're about to do this. Where is it? There it is. AR challenge. We're gonna do it. Who is? It? Oh, you said Israel. It's Azrael. <laughs> Look at how startled this guy was. Azrael is. How do I explain who Azrael is? He's the mysterious Watcher figure in this game, who you'll see a couple times. He's a side mission, it's called Watcher in the Wings. And I don't know if I should tell you, because he's it's, it's kind of a spoiler, I guess. And I know that you said that you don't want spoilers. But like you see how it's like, he's the mysterious figure. But yeah, so this is the AR challenges that I'm talking about. I'm a little bit low in altitude, but I think it'll still work. There's a couple of them. If you complete them all, you get the grapnel boost. See? Three more. Is there another one here? Yep, here's the other one. See, it doesn't take long at all, to be honest. Okay, where is it? Okay. But let's just say that Azrael, he's, um, he plays a big part in Arkham Knight in a way. Um... Where's the other one? On the other side of Gotham, presumably. Oh, is this a ringing phone? It's in the same area. Assault in progress. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do that side mission. I think that's like the most boring one. It's, it's not boring, but like... You said you're okay with spoilers, you just wanna see gameplay spoilers. Okay. So Azrael is essentially... Trying to be the next Batman. He wants to take Batman's place as protector of Gotham. And he has a well, Do you want information about Arkham Knight? Because you haven't played that yet. He's still a side mission. It's not like it's like a main mission in that game with Azrael. But he is a he's a playable character. Arkham Knight, one of the best things about that game is that there are a ton of playable characters. This is a riddle right here. Actually, but I didn't do the thing yet to be able to scan those. Oops. Shut up and keep your eyes open. Okay. He gets in, Joker will put us on ice. So let's head to the GCPD. Right. It's okay, tell you everything? Okay. So essentially, Azrael is with the order shit. called Saint Dumas. If you ever watched Gotham, they talk about it too. Gotham's actually a really good show. But anyway. <laughs> Azrael, you see him a couple times. I think he's gonna be somewhere here. On this rooftop. Oh, let's talk to, we didn't talk to him. We talked to him. What are you doing up here? 
please. One sec. I just came looking for food. Up here? It wasn't easy. I've been watching those guys down there. They're all crazy. Penguins guys were waiting for the Jokers, but then the Jokers turned up and kicked their asses. Joker's crew are looking for Mr. Freeze. He's pretty much the only one I haven't seen. Penguins guys went into the building. This game is just so Jokers fun. Spent the last God knows how it's one of the most fun games of all time. Wait here and hey, stay out of sight. I'm going to find a way into Welcome that back, buddy. Okay. So, I was explaining to Dan who Azriel is. So, Azriel, I'm pretty sure Hudson knows. And you know, a lot of people say that Azriel might be in Injustice 3 too. I don't think so. I just don't think he's going to fit in. But a lot of people say that as well. So, like I said, if you watch Gotham, you'll know who he is. And in this context, it's a little bit different, but there's a lot of similarities. He's essentially trying to take over the mantle from Batman, a protector of Gotham. He works with an order called the Order of St. Dumas, but they have essentially brainwashed him. Because he's a police officer. His name is Michael Caine. I, or Michael something. They say Michael Caine as in Alfred. The guy who played Alfred in Dark Knight. It's Michael something. And essentially, he's been brainwashed. And he essentially has all the same abilities as Batman. He is like, same training, kind of. Same skills. Ironically, same height and weight, too. Six foot two, 210 pounds, exactly. Oh, that's on me. I forgot that he was in it. But yeah. Oh, now they're all coming over here. Uh oh, don't see me, don't see No, no, no! Don't see me, shit, crap, crap! Okay, we're dead. I was trying to get into the grate, but it wouldn't let me for some reason. Okay, that works too. Yeah, what the heck? Why did it not let me get into the grate? That's, that's dumb. That worked as well, honestly. Uh oh, okay, I gotta move, gotta move. Okay. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not as simple to explain who Azrael is as some of the other characters, to be honest. And what his role is, but... Yeah, I'm gonna put side missions on the back burner, to be honest. I know the phone's ringing, but... I want to focus on the main story in this playthrough. I will do some side missions, though. The ones that aren't as, you know, repetitive. If I hack this radio, I'll be able to listen into all of Penguin's communications. Because it's occurring to me now that, to, in order to complete Riddler's side mission, I have to get all the trophies. Again, so... I don't think I'm going to do that one. And with Zaz, you have to do a bunch of phones. That's kind of grindy. Not really, but it's the most grindy thing in the game. Did you unlock the grapple boost? I will unlock that. That's the one I will unlock. No, there's a couple more to do. There's two more left to do. I did Listen two so up. far. Boss so we're going to come back into here after. No one in or out. Okay, this is really cool. So. What about Batman? They'll know who I'm taking out because they have these heartbeat monitors or something. See on the, on the arm. These are Penguin's goons. He's staying here. So a good way to get into that place is to go up. And then to see that grate over there. We're just going to enter. And also the challenge map, this is where it starts as well. You'll see in a second. Another trick is that you don't actually have to grab the grate to open it. You can actually slide into it and it opens as well. So that's pretty cool. Helpful. We want to be fast. Okay, so we have an advantage because they're all in positions kind of guarding doors. So I can take these two guys out really fast. Okay, come on. I take someone out. I need Crap. to move quickly. Yep, that's good enough. I'm running out of patience. You're running out of people. Okay. Let's see what runs out first. And since you want to see Azrael, I'll do his mission too, because it's actually not grindy at all. Like all the missions, they're not grindy. They're not. But like I said, some of them like like getting the trophies, that's a little grindy. Yeah, you. Okay, I need to bounce before someone starts shooting at me. Please. Oh, he surrendered. That's good. I'm dropping my weapon. 
Yeah, yeah Azrael's side mission is very simple. He's in the museum. Penguins got you just need to find him four right, times, and that's it. The Bane one is actually kind of simple, too. Because a lot because his stuff is where you're going anyway for the story, if that makes sense. I'll, I'll explain it better in a second. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta go to the museum now. Okay. Yeah, the side missions in this game are, I think, the best as well. I think it's better than the other games. I think so. Because you have Deadshot, you have Bane, you have Zaz. Victor Zaz. So we gotta use the cryptographic sequencer Alfred. Hello, to get sir. through this. Have you retrieved the cure from Mr. Freeze? There were complications. You do realize oh, I can skip that. Okay, I'm not gonna skip it, but I just wanted to see if I could. Get this cure soon. Thanks for reminding me, Alfred. I'm in a police building. Cobblepots obviously. It's gonna come in handy when I start the speed run this. Codes for the municipal structures. Like I'm downloading like actually the speed run it. right now. When is your summer vacation start for you guys? I don't know when it starts, but when it does start, I'm going to start streaming earlier. So let me know so I know how to plan this kind of stuff. That way I can have longer streams too. Okay. We can op we can unlock more stuff, right? Uh, the uh Yeah, for some reason everyone in this roster or whatever, they're like they're all above six feet, except for Oswald Cobblepot. And all the women are 5'7". Catwoman's 5'7". Harley's 5'7". Poison Ivy is 5'8". Actually, that's still pretty close. Vicky Vale's 5'7". <laughs> that's funny. It starts in about a month for you. Okay. Okay, yeah. So, like, around, like... The first week or two of June, correct? Like, around June 13th? Around there? Okay, so we gotta save Vicky Vale. Is that now or is that later? I think- I think she's... Yep, we gotta save Vicky Vale. Okay. Your girl, Dan, we gotta save Vicky Vale. Okay, where are they? Where are the snipers? Am I wrong? Is this not Vicky Vale right now? Yeah, this is Vicky Vale. What am I talking about? Where did the helicopter go, though? It was the bridge, right? Okay, so he, this helicopter here is going to see where it is. Oh, no, 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 no. What am I doing? No, it's the next time we leave GCPD is when Vicky Vale gets... Yeah, yeah, it's not right now. It's not right now. It, it's, it's a little bit later. By the way, that's another riddle right there. Ansel? Ansel? Answer. Flying Graysons. Oh, 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 the side mission. I see. Oh, and Hush is a villain in this, too. I mean, I know he's in Arkham Knight as well, but... Actually, that is actually one of the best. One of the one of the better side missions in that game, actually. It's because it's so intriguing. Is that, is that a crime going on? Yeah, we gotta save him. We gotta save him. Take that. Look at those graphics! You're welcome. Where did he go? Was that Jack Ryder? No, that's just a political prisoner. I'm gonna find some place safe to hide from these animals. You're welcome. Alright. Let's go take out the penguin. Of course, the chat didn't go through shaking my head. Yeah, I didn't see anything. What'd you say? Time to decide. Are you tough enough to sign up with Penguin? Or are you just chicken? So what is it? 
Oh, no, I'm not gonna fight them. There's no point. I thought that they were beating some guy up. I was gonna save the, the person, but yeah, they're not... It's not actually a beatdown for once. Anybody else ever watch Gotham? I actually really like that show. Uh, I just like the vibe. I think Torch has a 500 dig digit cap. Oh, okay. I know. You know why I know? No. It's because I'm about to hurt you so bad. I like long chats. I like re cuz I like reading. I like talking to you guys, so. All right. We got to go to the museum. So we're about to beat the crap out of these guys. Watch, another cool thing is that you could slide and start off fighting them. It's really cool. I picked the I picked the worst time to do that uh, ground takedown. That was on me. Little tip, don't actually do the ground takedown unless there's like no one left. There's one person left. Because that's the only safe time to do it. Or unless you have like distance between the other people, but still. Wow, what a douchebag who's um piloting the helicopter. They're shining the light right on Batman. Like, bro. Batman, like, barely looks at sunlight. Like, he, he barely is out in the daytime. So just a light like that must be, like... <laughs> it must take a toll on his eyes because he's not used to seeing something so bright. Because he's nocturnal. LOL, Gil... LOL, Gear, for example... Who can change? Iron Man, that's... Oh, are we talking about a possible Marvel game from NetherRealm Studios? Is that... Yeah, I didn't see the text before that. We have positive visual on Batman. Uh, LOL Gear, for example, who can change? Iron Man, that's what I could... That's all... Oh! Oh! I think I know what you guys are talking about. You're this talking about a possible Marvel NetherRealm game, and Hudson's asking, what what gear are you going to change for those characters? You know, he has a good point. Oh, I don't have the instant takedown yet. What the? Bro, that's throwing me off. <laughs> We're about to get it, though. Oh, well, gear, for example, who can change? Iron Man, that's all I could think of. Hulk can't really change. Captain America. Um... Stuff could become slightly more bulky. Thor is just Thor. Hawkeye can change some. But, like, I don't know. I just don't see an another Realm Studios Marvel game being what people think it will be, says Hudson. Oh, did you see the one before that? Nope. Could you see the one before that? <laughs> no. Yeah. Dan says he doesn't want a DC versus Marvel game. Yeah, I don't want that either, to be honest. I, I don't want that. I feel like it'll just be two different vibes. You know? And technically, there is a Marvel fighting game. It's not a pure Marvel fighting game, but it's Marvel versus Capcom. I never really got too into that. Okay. So, this isn't going to work right here. This isn't going to work. Um, we're just going to have to go deal with the Scramblers in a sec. So, I'm just going to let this play out until Batman realizes... Yeah. It's not going to work. Hudson said the first part that didn't go through, Barry did. We we talk about a possible Marvel Marvel game from NetherRealm Studios or rather Why am I? I need some water. The only way to crack this security is to destroy them. I talked for seven hours straight last night on stream. Oh man, tons of fun. Or even a Marvel versus DC game. I'm going to be honest, Marvel is cool and all, and I'd be cool with Marvel vs. DC, but that's basically impossible. So if NetherRealm Studios makes just a Marvel game, in all honesty, I'd buy it, but I don't think it'd be a very good game. I agree with you, Hudson. I don't want them to make a Marvel game for, from NetherRealm Studios. By the way, this is another riddle um, solution. So this here is the first scrambler. The next one's a little bit more fun in the subway. Yeah, that guy shining the light is such a douchebag. It makes it so hard to see what the hell is going on. The guy in the helicopter. I 
I don't know, that never actually annoyed me before though. Every other time I played this game, it never actually annoyed me. Maybe it's because of the volumetric god rays that PS5 provides. <laughs> Maybe that's why. It's a little bit more realistic, the graphics. So realistically, if you were fighting in like the dead of night, and some like dude was shining like a super high bright beam from a helicopter, it would throw you off. I'm getting that feeling. I don't think it would live up to the Injustice 2 standards people think it would. I think a lot of people agree that a Marvel game from NetherRealm Studios, I don't think it would work that well. I don't, excuse me, I just don't think it would. I'll need to destroy all three to shut it down. Because it's like, why are they all fighting each other? NetherRealm, like, they take that storyline seriously. Capcom versus Marvel, it's kind of fun, you know? In like in like a comic-y way. It's not really like serious. Okay, the other one's over here. Okay, and this is where the other Oh, this is where the other one's supposed to be. The grapnel boost thing. Can I see it from here? I wonder if I could find that. No. Oh crap. I totally just blew this. I totally just blew it. I didn't mean to make myself known. Oh crap. I gotta hurry this up. I could still make this. I just really need to be careful. Wow, I actually survived that. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, crap. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. My eyes are getting a little bit dry for some reason. Let's put on the blue light glasses. Okay, I feel like a Marvel game from NetherRealm would be a waste of money, time, and energy because they could be spending it on something the community actually really wants. So this is what, this is what I say personally. I say, look, they're probably going to do Injustice 3. They're definitely going to do it because they have to. Monetarily, there's no way Warner Brothers is going to let that cash grab go. They know it's going to be successful. They know it's going to be a triple A game that's going to make them millions. So of course they're making a third Injustice. But if I had to say, if they had to make a different title game that's not Mortal Kombat or Injustice, this is what I say. Make a horror fighting game with all the different horror characters because it's not like they haven't used them. They've used them in Mortal Kombat as DLC. Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, Predator, Alien, Leatherface. was activated somewhere underneath Arkham City. So this is what I'm saying. They can make a game with just a bunch of horror icons. That would be a very cool and unique and refreshing idea that would also be a triple A game that would absolutely make them millions. There's no question about it. But is that as likely as Injustice 3? Absolutely not. Injustice 3 is like almost guaranteed, in my opinion. Did he actually say something? I know, right? Ed Boon tweeted a troll type tease today. What did he say? Okay, where is the... Oh. Oh, it's this way. Wow, it's so surprising that James Gunn can make such unbelievable movies for such large franchises like DC and Marvel. Ed Boon responding to <laughs> release date for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. That is a tease, but he does troll all the time. He trolls all the time. Oh, that's where we're supposed to go. We're supposed to go right here. Every time Penguin powers up those things, my cell stops working. Of course. This is how. Wow! That was a delay. <laughs> Not in the game, but just like. Him jumping up. That was that was pretty hilarious. That man's been screwing with his plan. They didn't hear that? They'll hear that. Something along the lines of that. That's actually kind of funny. We need to keep it together and find it. Okay. There's a trophy in there, a Riddler trophy. Isn't that great? Um, there's a solution to a riddle on that side. 
Um, right here. Vicky Vale show. That's a riddle solution. Shut the f- What? Bro, did you see that? Um, okay. I'm gonna switch skins. This is a sign from the universe to do that. Okay. Okay, well look, I'm gonna go pee as this loads. And we will switch skins. Wow, you guys are the best. <laughs> Still the same amount of viewers as before. That's awesome. Okay, so. <laughs> pee break time. Yes. Oh, are you guys enjoying the music? <laughs> yeah, the best theme song ever. Okay. Yes. Because you asked, I'm gonna change skins. What? Whoa, 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 why isn't it? Okay, now it is. Okay, good. <laughs> Set the load. You want the Batman Beyond skin, right? I got you, Dan. I got you. Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> Hudson said people started freaking out because it, he mentioned DC and Marvel and he used the thinking emoji I know what, yeah, like, uh, like this, which made people go, OMG, DC versus Marvel, and then he, like, then he liked the tweet from Maximilian Dude saying something about Marvel and DC, so basically, today everybody started freaking out, oops, I actually left now, I don't know what I said, oh, look at how sick that looks, look at that skin, baby, Woo! look at those glutes, look at those, look at those trap muscles, my god, this guy's ripped. Look at, ah! Look at those forearms. Bro. Look at how much bigger the right arm is than the left. That's not even funny. That's like goofy. His right arm is twice the size of his left. Not just in width and girth, but length as well. Look at how much thicker his right arm is. Right? The forearm. The bicep. The shoulder. Look at that! Do you see that? That's baloney! Even the hand is bigger! What is he doing? Does he only do like one arm like curl ups with the right arm? Pull ups with the right arm? Push ups with the right arm? That's mad goofy! Mad goofy! Tell me you guys don't see that. Even the right leg is a little bit bigger. Do you see that? The right leg is a little bit bigger. That's, that's goofy. That's goofy. But look at those, look at those back muscles. Jesus Christ. This guy is beyond shredded. Oh my God. That's insane. That's, that's insane. I like how he runs exactly how he runs in the animated show. See, 
when I was born, I was born in 2000, so I had just missed Batman the Animated Series by a couple years. But when I was born, I used to watch Batman Beyond. That was my show. Oh my god, that's what I grew up on. Yeah, I don't blame you. Oh, that's right, yeah, because Dan said, I know, right, it's my favorite skin in the game. Hudson said, dang, Batman Beyond looks crazy. He uses Bane's venom to enhance his strength on just the right side of his body. Yeah, he just injects his right arm with the Bane venom. That's it. Solomon Grundy, baby. This is what um Dan was talking about yesterday. The man who treats death, right? And this right here, this is one of the Bane side mission canisters. So we have to blow up all six of them. Batman, Batman. We're gonna beat him down. So yeah, the beat down I don't think is in Arkham Asylum, which is one of the best moves, unfortunately. That was riddle trophy. I mean, riddle right there. Asylum. I'm just gonna tell you guys what the riddles are and the answers. I'm not actually gonna unlock them in this playthrough, like I mentioned. Yeah, I swear, this game had the best Predator maps and combat maps. Like, Arkham, is, Arkham Knight, the, the only thing better about Arkham Knight is not just the graphics. The graphics are better, but as you can see, this game still looks better than most games. So there's that. One of the things I like the most about Arkham Knight is that they have more characters that you could play as. I like that. I like that a lot. However... The maps aren't as nice as this game. Crap. That was gonna work! It wasn't for you meddling... Look. Oh, that should've taken him up. Oh, crap. I like how he says it with such conviction. I've got him! He's over here! No, no, no. That's not questioning. It's sort of... I've got him! He's over here! That was a terrible impression. <laughs> that was that was one of my worst ones. Crap! Wow! Yeah, that was that was mad goofy on me. Someone cut the mask off his face. No need to be gentle. At least we get to see this sweet cutscene. Are you guys excited for the Batman 2022 with Robert Pattinson? I am. Have you guys seen Colin Farrell's Penguin? It doesn't even look like him. That's how good the makeup is, and it looks so realistic. First time I saw that trailer, I was like, wait, I thought Colin Farrell was playing Penguin. Who the hell is that? I could pull him off the edge right now with the back lock. I could do that. I could do that. Oh my god, I almost messed that up. Bro, I just squawked. I just squawked. Oh my god. I'm not gonna die once in this game. Barry. Also, Barry, an hour later, dies. Yeah, that one was, like I said, this one was stupid. This, was, this death was stupid. Because this is easy. This is easy. Right? The combat challenges aren't. And I haven't messed those up yet, so at least it's not that embarrassing. <laughs> like, that actually requires skill. This game just makes me so hyped for Gotham Knights. Man, I'm so excited for that. I think Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League will be cool. But I'm so excited for Gotham Knights. I agree with you. And come on, we know Batman's gonna be playable in that game. They're like, oh, Batman's not gonna be playable. Batman's dead. Batman's not actually dead. You can't tell me you're gonna have a AAA game called Gotham Knights and not have Batman playable. That's baloney. They're just covering it up. There's no way Batman's dead in that game. He died in an explosion. 
Bruce Wayne died. It wasn't Batman. No, <laughs> he's not actually dead. Come on, that's that's foolish. Bro, I was reading the New Fifty Two a couple years ago, and th that's like a plot line in the first issue of Batman. New Fifty Two, Court of Owls. So he gets captured by the Court of Owls, and he's there for like weeks on end. No food, no wa water. He's driven crazy in this labyrinth that the that Court of Owls have, a maze underground. And he just manages to barely survive. And because the Court of Owls are the main villain of Gotham Knights, I am assuming that they have him. They have Batman. He's not actually dead. That's, that's, I doubt that. I highly doubt that. And you might say, oh, but Barry, they said that he's dead. They confirmed it. Bro, these studios lie all the time. It's like when they lied with Rocksteady and they said, oh, this character isn't Arkham Knight. That can't be. And yet he was the Arkham Knight. We all knew he was the Arkham Knight. We all knew he was the Arkham Knight. And they lied to us, straight to our faces. No, he's not the Arkham Knight. <laughs> Baloney. <laughs> Baloney. What do I need here? What, what do I want here? I think all of these are fine, but I mean, I don't really need the Batclaw Swarm. I don't, I mean, the, the Bat Swarm. I could do something for Catwoman because she's weaker. With her frail woman body. <laughs> uh, she's fast. I mean, it's true. She is a lot weaker than Batman. Her health is only half of his at the max. But she is a lot faster. So that is an advantage. Yeah, whenever I play this game in the past, like I find myself needing to upgrade Catwoman a lot more than Batman. But, in this case, I think I have the hang of playing both of them. Okay, what are we doing now? Oh, that's right, we gotta go down and check out the... We have to go back to the museum. That's right, because we just destroyed the thing, didn't we? Yep. Go back to the museum. What way was it, though? Was it this side or the other side? <laughs> Let's see what you boys said. <laughs> I can't wait to see the Batman, because I love Batman so much more than I used to. So it makes me so excited. Dude, I feel you, bro. I mean, I've always loved Batman. But this one, this one is going to be special. This movie is going to be special. I could just feel it. Because it, it's actually focusing on his detective side. I just love a good detective story. I love it. It's like Barry Allen in season one of The Flash. The show is great all throughout. You know, I mean, there, there are definitely slow moments. But there's nothing like the first season where he's actually solving crimes. Like he's actually a, fores a forensic expert. Hudson and I talk about this all the time. But now it's cool to see the world's greatest detective, Batman, actually be the world's greatest detective. You know? With him going up against the enigmatic Riddler. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. They're ready for me. They're over there, lined up for this beating watch. And uh, you can destroy these cameras if you want to get the 100%. Man, those bricks look so good. Those graphics. Woo! Okay. We're gonna take these boys out. I'm right here. <laughs> you should care about where I went right now, bro. Because I went straight to you. I like how they just wait for him to break that guy's leg before continuing to attack him. <laughs> oh my god. Batman Beyond has muscles on top of muscles. <laughs> he has so many. This is crazy. Okay. So tomorrow, we still have another 45 minutes of this game we're gonna play. We're gonna go up to the three hour mark. Tomorrow we're gonna finish up, just so I can give you guys the schedule. Tomorrow we're gonna finish up the rest of this game and tomorrow night stream at nine o'clock PM Eastern time. And then, I think we'll take a break on... Because what day is today? Today's Tuesday, right? Yeah, so we'll take a break on Wednesday. Actually, I don't even really want to take a break, to be honest. I kind of want to stream every day. I kind of want to do that. But, let's see. No matter what I do on Wednesday or Thursday, on Friday, we're playing Resident Evil 8 all night. Because that's when the game, when the game comes out. 
So I'm gonna pull an all-nighter. We're gonna play it. It's gonna be a blind playthrough. My first time ever doing it live, and it's gonna be sick. This is supposed to be a jump scare, but it's not scary. After, well, in comparison to Arkham Asylum, it's really not scary at all. Okay, we're gonna take these boys out. Let's just read this. My gosh, I'm excited for everything up in this chat. Yeah, me too, dude. And Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. They made Captain Boomerang a speedster for some reason. Yeah, I don't know what... Well, I mean, his main villain is the Flash. So, I mean, I guess that makes sense. And they're having them come up against the Justice League. So they have to buff them somehow, you know? I'm sure that they're going to give Deadshot some, like, Kryptonite bullets. Or something like that. And... Yeah, they had to buff the, these characters. Because that's the only way that they're going up against the Justice League. Realistically. Because the Suicide Squad is very capable. But up against the Justice League, that's a whole different story. It's crazy to think that the Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. It takes place in this same universe. This same universe. So I want to see what they do with Batman, though. Because they said that he's not um, like someone that they take out. But I'm wondering, what if... Well, I don't want to spoil it for uh, Dan. The ending of Arkham Knight. But you'll see. You'll see it. Is she going to blink? Oh, she is blinking. She wants to be here. That's why she's here. Yo, she's got nerd neck. <laughs> no, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. I thought I was going to get it, though, because I've been sitting like, <laughs> bro, I do some stretches, fix that right up. Oh, this is so annoying. I don't, it just sounds so weird. Hold on, let me, let me do it again, because it wasn't really. Wow, it's cringe. How about this? You're safe for now. Thank God. No, I seriously don't think Batman is playable, and even though I would like Batman, but Nightwing is in it, so I'll be fine. Yeah, they have they have all the Bat Boys. Sorry, man, I'm a cop. Bat. They have Nightwing, Tim Drake, part of the Strike Team, Robin. Been in here since the beginning. Red Hood, Batgirl. If Gordon sent you, you'll know the code. Oh yeah, yeah. He said, uh, oh man, what was? That's messed up. They did my boy's hairline dirty, bro. It's Sarah. <laughs> they shaved it's his the hair and rose, bro. You're safe, officer. It's Jones, Batman. Elvis Jones. And not like cornrows, like something Gordon cool. That's like that's like <laughs> something your team in. He bro. wanted to know what was going on in here. I guess we found out. There were ten of us. I know right, Dan. That was kinda of pissing off. me off. Yeah, season one is very good. I told Gordon it was too dangerous to send you in. Stay here. Oh, Get why yeah, why Captain Boomerang is a speedster? Yeah, that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> now every Flash villain's a speedster. <laughs> Except for DeVoe. Dude, this guy is just 100% muscle. <laughs> it's like 0% fat. This is what 0% fat looks like. 0% fat, 0% skinniness, 100% muscle. It's, and you know what? <laughs> you know where 90% of that muscle is? In his right arm. <laughs> Look at that size difference. I cannot get over that. It's not even... It's not even, like, it's hard to notice. It's blatantly obvious. Yeah, season one is very good. I'm so down to watch stream every day. I love every stream. <laughs> you guys are the best, man. You guys are so awesome. I appreciate that, man. A remote controlled battery. I'd be fine with boomerang speed if they explain how he gets it. I mean, they have to. They have to explain it, because it's not like it just fell out of the sky. <laughs> I mean, even though it's Captain Boomerang, they have to explain it. Oh, that's right. This is inverted. Um, I'll still get it though. <laughs> Jinx, let me um change the setting because for some reason, yeah, I don't want that inverted. Why would I want that inverted? Not like I'm flying a plane. Yeah, this is way easier. Nice. Imagine Captain Boomerang in Injustice Three. <laughs> Can you imagine? By the way, this is another riddle right here. Riddle answer. Are we ready for this boss fight? Well, this isn't really a boss fight. This is more like... So we just got shot, but there's no exit wound? Where's the blood? I 
wouldn't do that if I Yo, was Penguin, you. just shave the hair off at this point, bro. Show him what we He's not a nofap. Look at that hairline. So, Batman, you here for the cops? The ice bro, none of those dudes are on nofap. They're all bald. <laughs> I was only here for Freeze and the hostages, but now I'm taking you down too. Okay, that's Ooh, such great acting scary. right there. <laughs> Kevin Conroy is a legend. You're about to Even the facial out. capture that was great. Boomerang could replace Deadshot if Deathstroke doesn't come back. No, De Deathstroke's gonna be in the game. There was a rumor that you can expand your squad as you take over more people. As you defeat more characters in the Justice League, if someone wants you get more people that you can recruit. And I'm pretty sure Deathstroke is, you can do that. He's not on the base roster, but like, you can unlock him. Get it. So here's the thing. <laughs> yeah, dude, I can't wait for that, man. But do you guys know, what comes out first? Is it Gotham Knights or is it Suicide Squad? Kill the Justice League. Here you are. Do you guys know? I know one's 2021 and one's 2022, but I'm not sure which one's which. What do you think? Are you gonna be a good boy and give up? Even though I'm looking forward to Gotham Knights, I kind of want Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League to come up first. Anymore. I'm kind of looking more forward to playing that, just a little bit, just a little bit. Just because it's from the same people who made these games, the Arkham games, Rock City Studios. And it's in the same universe too, so I really want to see what happens after Arkham Knight. I've been wanting to see that since the game came out. Oh! Oh, I got you, I got you. No, it's I was talking about Boomerang replacing Deadshot in Injustice 3. Oh, I got you. I got you. Oh, Suicide Squad's first. That's awesome. Thank you for letting me know. They're all picking up chairs. Where are those chairs coming from? Those chairs weren't there two seconds ago. This place was empty. Oh, no. I just can't have this. I'm going to do this perfectly. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Requirements to join Penguin's gang. Be bald. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. That's initiation time. Ready for this? Ready for this ass whooping? Me his face. I'm gonna do this perfectly, I guarantee it. You know, now would actually be a good time to get the uh, special combo bat swarm. Yeah, <laughs> that would actually come in handy in situations like this. Can I actually get it now? Do I have a point? That's better. <laughs> Let's see. No, I don't have it. Wow, I was a close one. I was a little bit more risky there. You know, there was another game announced, right? It was an actual sequel to Arkham Knight. And it was supposed to you star supposed Damian to Wayne that. Robin. And um, it was supposed to take place after Arkham Knight, but they scrapped the project, which sucks. Cause that would have been sick. Uh oh, not these fools again. So Suicide Squad's coming out this year. I know that the movie's coming out this year, but you're talking about the game, yeah? That game's coming out this year? For real? Because I could have sworn it was the other way around. But I guess it makes more sense because then it's in, in tune with the movie, you know? The same timeline. Look, even this guy! His right arm is much bigger than his left. What is the deal, yo? Let me take this guy out real fast. Oh, perfect timing. Now they open the gates. Is it just me or are these goons way larger than the ones in Arkham Asylum? Of the same caliber. So, okay. When Suicide Squad comes out, who are you guys maining? Like, who are you guys going to play? Out of those first four characters, Deadshot, Killer Shark, Harley, and Boomerang? I think I'm going to start playing as Deadshot first. Honestly. Although, I don't know. I kind of like Captain Boomerang a lot. Be easy. 
Oh, so you know what? Killer Shark could be really interesting, too. He could be really interesting. They have to make Harley interesting, though, because, I mean, she just has a baseball bat. And some guns, but... I think she had, like, what, like, rocket boosters, right? No, 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 it was Deadshot. Deadshot had the rocket boosters. Oh, the battering stun doesn't work on these guys anymore. Those big guys. Oh, you're gonna main Harley? 100,000 million gazillion gabillion percent? I like how he he um he elaborates. Hudson, you're the best. <laughs> yes, yeah, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League comes out this year. I found Penguin. And Mr. Freeze, have you located the cure yet? Not yet. Okay, the how about is worse how about uh, Gotham Knights? Penguin has a supply. Who are you guys gonna main? I'm gonna do Nightwing. Nightwing is who I'm maining in that one. What's going on here? Your suit's bio readings are spiking. Nice of you to join us, Oracle. Alfred. Bring Barbara up to speed. Of course. But... I'll be in touch. How does that belt even work? Do you look at Batman's, Batman Beyond's belt? <laughs> There's no way he can store anything in that, let, al let alone batarangs. Anyway. Forget what I said about coming out this year. I was going to, but they pushed it back with Gotham Knights. Are you serious? Are you serious? That is saddening. Okay, so this is how you open this door. You see that electricity over here? So, there's a fuse box on the other side. You go through here. You go up here. And then, you want to flip the battering with enough distance. And then, right here. Oh, wait, what the? Hold on. Am I doing so No, no. This is where the other one is. It's over here. Oops. <laughs> nice going, Barry. Oh, I know what to do. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Let me do that again. So, yeah, I just had the wrong place. I was close, though. So, this is the electricity. Just gonna grab that real fast. Siphon that real quick. Okay, I gotta go up here. Then I gotta go down. Hit the button. And then that'll open that door. Then we go up. We use the cryptographic sequencer to open the other side. And then we go, and we continue. How's that? Okay. So, there's some more riddles and uh, trophies over there on that slide, but we're not going to play around with that. It's, un it's not necessary. So, we're just going to do this. How saddening, bruh. It was this year, then they changed it recently. That sucks! Do you have the actual date, though? Like, do you know what month th that they say that it's going to come out? Or is it just the year? Is that it? Man, I really want to play that Suicide Squad game. You know we're playing it live. We're going to play that live, baby. Same with Gotham Knights. Let's go down. Let's see. Well, you can play with your friends, right? And Gotham Knights. Even Suicide... You can just play online. Dang, that sucks, bro. Man, I would love to play with you guys, but you both are on Xbox. See, that's that's the story of my life. My entire life, all of my friends are always playing on Xbox. I'm the only one out of my friends who plays on PlayStation. Yeah, that's part of the reason why when the 2013 console generation came out with Xbox One and PS4, I actually bought the Xbox One first. The reason why is because all my friends were on Xbox. But back then, there wasn't too many games to play together. So, I switched to PS4 just because I preferred the exclusives. Uncharted, Last of Us, eventually Spider-Man, the rest of them. You know, God of War. And also, PlayStation always had better exclusive... Like, not just, like, exclusive games, but they also had exclusive content. Every game that would come out, PlayStation would get more DLC or, like, more free content with launch stay where I can see you Batman I do not it just says 2022 for now yeah just the year Gotham Mets is definitely multiplayer dang bro that's all that matters still 
little boy. <laughs> you know, I have a feeling though that in the next few years, Xbox is gonna get better exclusives. I mean, Halo's cool and Forza. I just never really here, play that too much to personally. So but now that they bought Bethesda, again. they could have exclusive games with Bethesda. But Enjoy I know that Bethesda is not going to just. Bethesda is so like money hungry. And look, they're a good studio when it comes to quality of games. Most of the time, like they have a lot of games that I really love, like Skyrim, Fallout 4, Fallout 3. I need to move slowly. Take my time. Even like their subsidiary, Arcane Studios. That's my favorite game of all time. Is Dishonored. They made that. So. But now that they bought Bethesda, I mean, they could have more exclusives, but like I'm saying, Bethesda, they want to sell as many copies as possible. So I don't think that they're just going to limit, like, their big games, like their AAA games, like Starfield, Elder Scrolls 6, Fallout to just one console. I don't think that's going to happen. But maybe some new titles, though. You never know. Dude, I literally love Forza Horizon so much. I did play Forza Horizon, I forgot if it was 3. Or, um, it was the one in Australia, when they're in Australia. I played a little bit of that on um, Xbox, and it's really... Well, of course, Xbox. It's really good. That, that was actually a very good game with uh, racing Thank and you, stuff. Batman. I was never but too good at it. Like, I was good at with... Um, I was always way better with Need for Speed. But Force is a really detailed game. It's very detailed. Force of Horizon. So, this is like Killer Croc, right? Except this is much shorter. Watch. Watch what, watch what happens. Look at this. Holy shark repellent, Batman. Isn't that insane? Anyone want a slightly used bat suit? I'm sure the blood will wash off. That's tough. I think Gotham Knights is set to come out closer to the beginning of summer. I think Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is supposed to be earlier, though. It's probably going to be in the first quarter of the year. If it was already set to be in 2021. If they moved it back, it's probably going to be at the start of next year. So you're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Gotham Knights is probably summertime. You know what's crazy, though? So... When was uh, the DC Fandom from last year? It was summertime, was it? Was it not? I think it was like August? It's already been over half a year since then. Holy shoot. It's gonna be slower. Sorry, Batman. Did I forget to mention my little friend down there? How does he have a shark in here? That's mad foolish. What the hell is that? An octopus. Okay, so here's the strategy. I gotta bring that raft towards me. Where is the raft? Oh, oh, so it looks like I have to go on that side first. Am I supposed to save the guys? Am I supposed to save them first? I have to rescue Mr. Freeze. Okay, so I have to go this side first. That's right. Yo. If Deathstroke is playable in Suicide Squad, he's my new main. Oh, yeah. Unless they have Reverse Flash. If they have Reverse Flash, you already know. I'm going full Eobard, bro. I wonder how I could speed run this part. Do I just have to be slow? I think so. The undercover cops need my help. If I leave them in the ice, they'll freeze to death. Come on, Batman. We're yeah, yeah, Batman. We'll get to it. Do you need your mommy? Hey, what's he doing? He's got some kind of computer thing. It's called a cryptographic sequencer. Thank you very much. Oh, it's like the song. It's a good song. What do you want? How do he do that? You Magic. Look at how brutal that is. I was going to do it all the way. Oh, I was sick how he jumped off of that. It's that Unreal Engine, baby. That's beyond brutal. Get it? Beyond brutal? Get it? 
I wasn't even trying to make that a pun, but no, that was actually a really good pun. It was like when I said that Captain Cold is cool. I didn't even mean to say it like that. Or when I said that Aquaman is pretty, um, what, what did I say, fishy? Or, um, something like that. So we have to save these, these cops first. That's fair enough. Is that just the dead body underneath there? Yeah, that's tough. Okay. So we have to save that guy over there. You see him? Right here? This guy? And then who else? Okay. Look at how ripped this guy is! My god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Look at those ribs! What the- <laughs> Bro. <laughs> the pun man? <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, this is how we do it. So we grab this down here. Pull it over here. And then... Is that a- <laughs> Is that a dead body? Hmm, that's tough. <laughs> says Barry. Yeah. Thank you for immortalizing that quote. <laughs> Put that on my tombstone. <laughs> hmm, that's tough. <laughs> okay. Is this one more guy, right, to save? He stole it from Mr. Freeze. Just that one? I'm getting it back. Hmm, that's tough. Please! Hello, hello. Oh crap. What a welcome to the channel, right? That was by accident. And there was me thinking it was going to be Nice to meet you, Kiwi. Get him out of here. My name is Barry, like the Flash. And we're playing Batman Arkham City as you can see on PS5. It's pretty sick. I like that Kiwi. What a way to enter a stream, right? Watching Batman get eaten by a shark. It's tough. What can I say? All right, all right. Let's save this poor guy. He's gonna have some like insane injuries though. Like incredible frostbite. Even after that. Bro, every character in this game, except Penguin, is jacked. Even the cops are jacked. Cold. Where did Penguin get that gun? He stole it from Mr. Freeze. Like, you know it's bad when the only character that isn't jacked is Penguin. It's not it's funny. Please. It's really funny. Even this guy's kind of jacked. Stay here for now. No problem, sir. There are more of us. If they're still alive, I'll find them. All right. So now we go over here. Yeah, this part's just really like a lot of back and forth. So we're going to talk to Mr. Freeze. And then we're gonna... Can we go this way, though, first? Because I think I can do that. Okay. So we have two objectives. So I usually ask question of the day. So question is, what is one of the worst TV shows in general? Oh, that's a good question, actually. What are one of the worst TV shows? That's actually a really good question. I, I don't know. If I watch something, I don't really like it. I usually stop watching. I can give you some good shows. Yeah, there's- oh, there's too many! Hudson says there's too many. <laughs> Come hmm. on, Batman. <laughs> no, what are you gonna do now? Again? Are you serious? Didn't we tell you that was gonna happen? Sorry, you must have slipped our minds. <laughs> oh, so there's just Mandalorian? Maybe you should go look for a can opener. <laughs> Yo, Hudson's taking that seriously. Hudson loves Star Wars, dude. <laughs> and Dan says Mandalorian's really bad. <laughs> did you? Did you? Did you just? 
It comes with a personal guarantee from Bruce Wayne himself. You know, I haven't even finished the first season of The Mandalorian. I'm like in the middle of it. I haven't watched it though in a few weeks. I like I stopped watching it for some reason. Howdy, dude. <laughs> but everyone keeps telling me it's so good. Except for except for Dan. I mean <laughs> Oh my god. It's funny because I was gonna say Bear, and then I was gonna say Dante, and I was like, nope, he prefers Dan. I actually like all of them. They're all great names. Whoa! Hudson, you just unlocked the auto mod. Do you see that? <laughs> Hudson just said something that that his comment is being held for reason hostility. Allow will post it in the chat. I'm gonna let you put it. Because I know that Hudson's joking. <laughs> oh my god, now I'm associated with that. <laughs> oh! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. She said she just said Riverdale. Or he. Riverdale? You're right. Riverdale's terrible. I totally forgot about that. You see. I actually tried to forget about it on purpose <laughs> because it's so bad. But now, thanks to you, <laughs> I remember how terrible it is. All these flashbacks are just coming to me right now of all the terrible and cringy and stupid scenes in Riverdale. So yeah, you know what? Ironically, not only do I agree with you, that's actually the only show I could think of that's terrible that I've actually watched. Every other show that I watch that I don't really like... I'm not really feeling too much. Like, I leave before I can make an actual, like, general, like, review of the show, right? By the way, this is a riddle right here. Answer. But Riverdale is the only one that I actually watched, I think, two and a half seasons before leaving. Only because the first season was so good. The first season I really liked, but then the second was terrible. No, the second was, second was kind of, it was, it was all right. But it had stupid moments, like very foolish moments. The third season, however, it was so much of a joke, I had to stop watching. <laughs> did you just call the Star Wars bad on Star Wars Day? I mean, did you just call the Mandalorian bad on Star Wars Day? Oh, that's right. It is still Star Wars Day. Happy Star Wars Day, everyone. May the fourth be with you. So this is the other Abramovich, obviously. You can tell by the one arm and the chronic baldness. So strong. So strong. I kill you with one hand. Oh, wow, that sickle has wide range. That's crazy. That's actually very satisfying. Focus. Take this dude out. I'm taking you out, and I'm taking you out, and I'm taking you out, and I'm taking you out to dinner. <laughs> That's exactly what Johnny Cage says in Mortal Kombat 9. That's like one of his first lines. It's hilarious. And he says it to Johnny, uh, to, uh, he says it to Sony, Sonya Blade. Drink some water. It's peanuts, bro. Drying out my throat. And then he said, he said he loves Star Wars, but Mandalorian is just so bad, and Baby Yoda is so ugly. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I don't think Star Wars is the greatest. Yeah, I was never the biggest Star Wars fan, to be honest. But I always thought it was kind of cool, though. I just never really got into it, you know? But it's not bad, though. I can see why a lot of people love it so much. He said you don't have to just... I just love it, that's all. I respect that. <laughs> imagine a Star Wars fighting game. Can you imagine? Excuse me. I don't care if other people don't like it. I just love it. And anything I say regarding drama is a joke. <laughs> My favorite is Harry Potter. Yeah, Harry Potter's pretty good. I just rewatched most of the movies just a couple weeks ago. <laughs> and it had been like, I think, 10 years since I'd watched any of the movies. This is another solution to a riddle right here. For anybody who's wondering. That is a fair pick because it's also amazing. Yes, it is. Indeed. 
Not gonna lie, Harry Potter low-key kind of bad. <laughs> I can say that with a strong opinion because I've read every book and I've seen every movie. I haven't read every book, so I can't I can't say that. But what do, what do you guys think is the best Harry Potter book or movie? I can only say the movie because I only watch the movies. I read a few of the books. I think I like Goblet of Fire the most, to be honest. I think I like that one or Prisoner of Azkaban the most. Those two, I think, are just my favorite. Joker's cube. Where is it? Kiwi said Voldemort could take you out really fast, lol, but I don't care. I love Harry Potter. Dude. <laughs> Dan says, dude, I can literally kill Voldemort in half a second with my ma <laughs> with my M11. Oh my god. That's tough. <laughs> That's actually very funny, too. I cannot complete my work. Oh yeah, thanks for following, Kiwi. Must That's awesome. Everything depends on it. He's not a no fap either. Everything. Look at that hairline. Penguin is protecting him. Bro, half the characters in this game aren't a no fap, bro. How do I get past it? Do I look like a fool? I mean, yeah, kind of. <laughs> bro, he looks like Mega Mind, low key. He looks like Mega Mind if Mega Mind had a normal sized head. You don't look well. For real, for real. Gone, yo, yo, so you know Megamind's fish, right? That's in like that suit? This is literally a mix of Megamind and the fish. Because he has a suit that makes him look like the fish. But in reality, he looks like me. That's torture. Holy moly. Yo, why is he wearing yoga pants? Why, why is, bro, Mr. Freeze is really wearing yoga pants right now, bro. Trying to show off them cheeks. Weapons against me. How did that work out, for bro? You? Why don't you go get the security override and figure out a way to stop him yourself? It's been a pleasure, Victor. He looks like a popsicle. Keep thinking about. Man, it. I can roast this dude all day, <laughs> Mr. I'll Freeze. You your suit back. Yeah, he's wearing yoga pants. <laughs> I'll give him credit though; his yoga pants light up. That's pretty cool. Hello, okay. The leprechaun that kills everybody could take you. Hello, magic. Those movies are great. <laughs> you know a Star Wars fighting game to somebody who isn't a fan might seem dumb, but there's actually differences between fighters because there are seven different forms of lightsaber combat. Jesus Christ. Is there really seven different forms of lightsaber combat? What are the forms? What, what are the differences? Finally, special combo bat swarm. It's funny because I was like saying I don't need it before, but it's actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. This is the fun part. Oh yeah. I mean this game is nearly always the fun part all throughout. I'm not gonna lie though, that little scene where you're like a little bit slow, you're walking around. The ice, that's not my favorite part. But this one is sick. This is a pretty cool predator map we're about to do. And we're about to get Mr. Freeze's freeze gun thing. Look at those back muscles, Jesus! That's that's nutty. My god, this guy doesn't skip any day in the gym. Bro, Batman Beyond lives in the gym. Do you see this? Jesus Christ. Bro, even his face is chiseled. Jesus. Yeah, screw you. I can't remember the exact names, but I know the first one is called Chicho. No, I mean like what do they do? Like is is it like defensive? Like one's defensive, one's like offensive. Another one's like evasive, another one's like, is it, is it like that? She chose a cool name though for a fighting style. You hear that guy getting tortured casually in the background? He just ripped that guy's fingers off, didn't he? That's tough. What do you guys have to say about that? He just asked why Penguin would have a war room. My question is why would he not have a war room? He's the Penguin. He has a whole museum to himself. Of course he has a war room. Are you kidding me? Bro, Arkham City is such a cool idea. Because it's like a prison, but it's a city. You know? And they're like taking over different territories. Like, I gotta respect that idea. Like, even more so than before. This is a riddle too, I think. Right here. Answer. The void could take you and you become the host. And then it kills you. And you're out of luck to escape. The void is amazing. The though. What are we talking sense. about? The the void, the leprechaun. Will be able to spot me hiding up oh, the oh, that leprechaun. Oh, you mean the movie, the leprechaun? Is that? Are we still talking about Harry Potter? I'm looking at it now. 
Because I'm cool with either one. I'm just a little confused. I know there's a movie called The Leprechaun. I just never saw it. But there are leprechauns in Harry Potter, right? The Void is amazing. Though. Oh, The Void's another movie? I'll give. I'll just give a person you probably know for each form. Okay. I'm the kind of person that would use this Soresu form. You know that? Oh, that's right. You're a Star Wars fan, too. Okay. But I also love Lord of the Rings. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're talking about different movies. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Bro, oh my god. So, I talked about my, about my first date back in high school, right? The second date, right? This girl was a huge Harry Potter, not a Lord of the Rings fan. So, she has me come over to her house, and we're watching Lord of the Rings. My god, I nearly fell asleep. We were watching Lord of the Rings, and that, that, that movie is like three hours long. It's like three hours long. So I'm sitting there bored out of my mind, falling asleep, and she's like holding my hand or something. Like, because she loves Lord of the Rings, but I was so bored. Oh my god. It's a plan, right? She jumped me. As soon as the movie was done, though, as soon as that movie was over, it was crazy. Oh my god. We're both smart. But so that was that was like that was the best part of that night. <laughs> because I was falling asleep the entire time. Jesus Christ. Lord of the Rings I just found it to be so boring because of how long it was. Oh my god. Bro. Anyway. That's a little story. I'm gonna have some fun with you. Oh man. Okay, we gotta take these boys out. All stealth like. Yo, what the fuck? He just shot me on spot, bro. On spot. Bro, it was funny too because her mom, right? Like, like, her mom was in the room in and out <laughs> during the movie. So I was trying really not to fall asleep because it would look so. <laughs> it looks so stupid, right? But oh my god, I swear to god. I swear. I'm so glad it was only one movie that she had me watch, though. If it was the entire thing, I swear. <laughs> yeah, that thing is long, bro. Three hours of that. It's crazy. The movie's so bad. Whoa, that's a lot of... You. Form 1. Oh, Kit Fitzo. Form... I don't know who Kit Fitzo is. Fis Fisto? Kit Fisto. That's a cool name. Kit Fisto. Form 2 Count Dooku. Form 3 Obi-Wan. Bro, Obi-Wan is awesome. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Form 4, I think Luke Skywalker. Form 5 Anakin. Form 6 Darth Maul. Form 7 Mace Windu. <laughs> Chronicles of Narnia is my shit. That's what's up. I remember seeing that like a long time ago, but I remember it was pretty cool. More important things to be looking out for. Facts. What's wrong? Those you should be accurate besides maybe Form 4. That movie is so bad. <laughs> Are you talking about Narnia? <laughs> Bro, you funny. At least I'm a chicken shit when it comes to horror movies. I love it all. Dude, I love horror movies too. I literally hate Chronicles of Narnia so bad. I honest, I can't remember that much about it. I just remember there being a wardrobe, a lion, and some wizard. That's what I remember. Yo, Kiwi said, that's awesome. You have bad taste in movies since you don't like any. What do you like, though, Dan? Stay still. I'll and Kiwi, back. are you a boy or are you a girl? Just for reference. I so I know what to call you. Can I take him out without him noticing? Let me get him. Let me get him. What do you mean? Just because I don't like magic stuff, that doesn't mean I have bad taste. Says... Dan. Oh crap, he sees me. He'll never see this! Oh, that guy will. He'll see it. No? Oh crap. Can I do this fast enough? Yes, I can. Yes, I can, baby. What movies do you like? Okay, let's get the suit open. 
Homeboy. Oh, I gotta save these losers first? Fine. <laughs> What's up, guys? Well, you guys are fine. You, you weren't tied up or anything. I just need to get to that uh, freeze thing. I saw you clear the room. It's awesome work, man. The name's Is that Sylvester Stallone? You're part of Gordon's Yo, it looks like him. I've seen your file. You have? Yeah, it looks I like Rocky. Mean, yes, sir. Cobblepots turned this place into a... Hey, yo, Adrian. Place. Someone ratted this Hey, yo, Adrian. The boys got grabbed. Brought here and... He likes Star Wars, DC, up. Marvel, etc. You're safe now. Same. There are just two more of you on I'm not too big into Star Wars, though, but DC and Marvel, for... yeah. Cobble Especially DC. Like I somewhere. like TMNT. We're lucky. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Avatar Last Airbender. So that's the famous Even though that's not a movie, though. Unfortunately. <laughs> Kibi said, oh, God, DC sucks so bad. You're talking about the DC Extended oh, Universe, the DCEU? Because the DC Animated Universe, that's some of the here, best things ever. Minutes. Some of the best movies. Over to he won't be <laughs> Bruh, he is literally playing a no DC game. That, but this game is really good, though. I think what Shay... Oh, why is the, is the chat paused? What the heck? It's not reconnecting again, is it? Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Okay, I just need to make sure. <laughs> yeah, I think Kiwi's talking about the DCEU. And if that's the case, I don't blame you. <laughs> we're talking about the DC live-action movies. I do not blame you at all. But then I have to ask you, have you seen... Have you seen the, uh, what's it called? The hey, Snyder Cut? You didn't notice, what did you think of the Snyder Cut, Kiwi? Because if you don't like no DC, way? I wonder what you thought of that, well, specifically. That oh, hey, Miguel. What's up? I see you followed a couple hours ago. That's awesome. Man. I had a pretty good friend a long time ago. His name was Miguel. <laughs> it's always cool to meet more people with uh, pretty awesome names. You have the game, this game on your Wii U? I remember I uh, I had a Wii U for a very short amount of time. I had it for like a week like before I returned it. Fall. And the first game I got was this one, Arkham City. Because I thought you could play the Wii U anywhere. I didn't think you had to be just at home. But the coolest thing about it, though, on Wii U is that you get these extra skins. And it's just super cool. Like, like Batman and Catwoman, they get like these armored skins. We hit the three hour mark, but Chim is so chill. I think you should continue. All right, I'm going to do just that. <laughs> okay. So we got two more people to save. Is that right? Okay. Confront Penguin in the Iceberg Lounge. It's going to be sick. Whoa. That is in depth. Hudson's... <laughs> Hudson's in clutch. Whoa. Let's beat this shark down. This shark doesn't stand a chance against my punches. That shark is stupid. Why didn't he just let go and bite Batman? Like, oh my god, bro. Like, who's gonna win? A shark or one muscled boy? Come on, let's be real. Muscle boy's gonna win. Are you kidding me? Shark doesn't stand a chance. Okay. Form one is typical one blade to one blade combat. Okay. Form two is more of a one handed classical fencing type style. Okay. Form three is more defensive and focuses. Focuses on counters, I think. Form 4 is focused on blocking blasters. Oh, that's really good. Like, deflecting stuff. Form 5 is focused on... Oh, let me see if I have an upgrade as I'm doing this. Form 5... Has a blast deflecting style and an aggressive blade style. Form 6 is kind of, like, more creative and harmonic. Let's see. No, I don't have any more. Upgrades. He's about to start shooting at me, but we're gonna take him out real fast. Watch. Oh. I dodged in the wrong way. Oops. He. Bro. Look at him cackling. Like a witch. Okay, let's see. I'm too far away. The override won't work. This is so funny. Watch this. What? What up? Okay, there's no way Penguin's surviving that fall. That's a full uppercut, bro. Two stories down. That's tough. Cobble pot. No, I'm sorry. Please. Form 6 is kind of like a more creative and harmonic force. 
using form based on you. Form 7 is a crazy, hard to control, very powerful, aggressive form. You say that's Mace Windu was form 7? Yeah, wow, that's actually pretty cool. If you hate on Harry Potter, then I'll find something to hate on that you like, and that's why I roll. That's funny, Kiwi. Dante, Kiwi's calling you out. It's all love, though. Don't worry. <laughs> LOL. Oh, thanks, Miguel. By the way, big fan, Dilla. That means a lot. Thank you, dude. Glad to see you here. Alright. Look, even Solomon Grundy is jacked. Every character in this game except Penguin is, like, ripped. Even this undead zombie dude. He's still jacked. He still finds time to lift weights... In the afterlife. Uh oh. Oh, this this fight's pretty sick, though. Not gonna lie. This game is very luminescent. Like every character's eyes light up. Half of their suits light up. Their veins light up. Yeah, homeboy beat the game already. But he's not gonna spoil. I appreciate that. I beat this game eight times, <laughs> but oh my god, it just never gets old. It's just so fun. Yeah, for those who didn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate that because I never know who in the chat hasn't played the game yet. Excuse me. Look at those veins, jeez. Look at that. Look at his neck. He doesn't have a neck. It's just face and torso. That's all that is. Oh, okay, so I need to time this right. So, when this closes, I do this. I need to lead him up. Can I just blow that up? Okay, good. I'm blowing this up, Penguin. What does it look like? Because that electricity is what powers him up. Oh, cool. He doesn't, he doesn't mind spoilers. Okay, let's see. Let's hit this and let's blow it up. Can I, beat the, can I beat him up now? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. That's more like it. Let's see how much that ugly son of a bitch can take. <laughs> His pants are kind of groovy, actually. Those pinstripes. Kiwi said to Dante, But what I have to say to you, has anyone ever told you that your birth certificate is apology letter from the condom factory? <laughs> Please don't be hating on Harry Potter ever again. Bro, that's savage. I mean, dang. You gonna do the boy Dante like that? <laughs> like, jeez. Let me ask you though, because I never actually watched the sequel to Harry Potter. Uh, what is it, Grindelwald? Uh, Fantastic Beast. Is it any good? Enough with the bloody explosives! I mean it. Have I ever played Disney Infinity 3.0? No, I haven't. Is it any good? Bro, that's a, that, that roast, I've never seen that before. That's actually kind of original. Grundy will kill you. <laughs> Birth certificate is an apology letter from the condom factory? Dang, that's, that, that's cold, bro. That's stone cold. Yo, this guy has a piece of his torso just hanging out. Do you see that? What are those snail things? What the hell? Yeah, that is just really mean. But like, I thought he was joking. I don't think he means it. Or she. Yeah, let's keep this nice and, uh, let's keep the love in the chat, you know? Let's do that. Oh, that's a good way to th block that, actually. I just need to keep evading. Okay. Those things are antiques. Leave them alone. How are those antiques? How does that even make any sense? 
Oh my god, bro. That timing was so off. This is the hardest part of the game. <laughs> wow. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. It's a little distracted. All that matters is that you like Harry Potter. We all like different things, it's true. We all got different opinions. Like, nothing is actually bad or good, it's all subjective. That's a part of what makes everybody unique and beautiful, is that we're all unique in preferences and skills, all that kind of stuff. Oh my god. Grund Grundy's like, the power! <laughs> you hear how he's like, laughing? He's like, ha 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 ha! Uh oh, 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 oh. Good, now we can take him out. Come here. Miguel said it's cool you got these characters and put them in a base and activate on TV. Thank you. Wait, 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 what? Wait, what? I'm not sure I understood that just by reading it off. Finish Grundy, let's do that. It's cool you got these you get these characters and put them in a base and active activate on the TV. Well, what do you know? You really oh, can't kill that oh, bastard. oh, you mean the chat. You mean how I have the chat on the screen? Is that what you're talking about? Thanks, man. Yeah. I figured it out pretty early on into my streaming career. But yeah, it just makes it so awesome. The chat's such a big part of, you know, the experience. The chat's like one of my favorite parts of streaming, to be honest. Yeah, I love talking to you guys. So of course it's only fitting to have you guys on the screen so that when I upload this on YouTube, on my second channel, Dilla Dynamics XL, archive these streams, you guys are immortalized as part of these videos. It just wouldn't be the same without you guys, you know? It's tricky. We got this, we got this, we got this. Yo, the timing here is so tricky. Stop that! No. <laughs> Penguin, this is a boss fight. You don't seem to understand how that works. Shut up, bro. I'm gonna get in a sec. Hudson said, oh, wh whoa, relax, Kiwi. I know Harry Potter is cool, but I've only seen, like, the first movie. Oh, and by the way, me, Barry, and Dan all like DC better than Marvel. You are simply outnumbered. I will sign your peace call so you can retreat <laughs> all jokes. It's all love in the chat. It's all love in the chat. Bro, Barry doesn't know anything Miguel is saying. I think he's talking about the chat, right? Is that what he's talking about? If I'm wrong, you feel free to correct me. Come on, come on. Okay, we got it. We got this. We got this. How did that not land? Bro, I pressed the button. That's mad dumb. Hold on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Now it works. Okay, good. Whoever does Penguin's voice is a perfect voice actor. Yeah, his name is Nolan North, and he's incredibly talented. He's very, very good. You're absolutely right. Bro, this guy has a piece of his torso hanging out. That's crazy. Dan, you're still there, right? Oi! Just you and me left. The bat versus the bird. Oh, crap. One hand on the controller, baby. Drinking some water. Wow, he can't aim for anything. Look at him, he's retreating. Jesus, look at that beatdown. <laughs> yeah, voice acting is really good. 
Barry, what Miguel is trying to say is it's like Skylanders. If you've ever heard, oh, you ever heard of Skylanders, but it's with Disney characters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Look who it is, Mr. That's that's crazy. Freeze. Enough. Of course. I was making a I know I was making a joke, but it was a truthful joke. Okay, yeah, Disney Infinity. That's cool. Well, Rick, Check that out. What you did, Mr. Cole. Still a Batman Arkham Knight or Arkham City? Arkham City all the way. Arkham Knight's still a great game, but I don't think that the story is as good as Arkham Knight. I mean, Arkham City, I mean. I think Arkham City has a better story. And it's more, just more fun to play in general. Isn't you know? But what do you think? Let Perhaps me know. I, should I love talking about this kind of Creating stuff. Creating an antidote to the disease that afflicts the clown was easy. Unfortunately, the cure degrades. Dan said, I just feel like he was being aggressive Need towards to me because I had a different opinion than her and him. Slash, slash him. Enzyme. Without it, I don't think they're here anymore. Before it can help its host. I've seen this before. Finding a yeah, but don't, don't take it seriously, though. Only problem. It needs to be adapted, bonded to human DNA. That will take decades. Time They're just very it appears you. enthusiastic about Harry Potter. What if I told you I know a man who's been exposed to that enzyme for centuries? What man? His name is Raish Al Ghul. Bring him to me. All I need is a sample of his blood. It is your only hope. Raish Al Ghul is dead. Dan, when you never be ashamed of sharing your opinion. That goes for everybody. Not exactly. Freedom of speech is very important. Where the body is. Then I can go wake him up. Yes, yeah, so I know that you went quiet for a little bit. Don't worry about it. Fema, you are not worthy to speak of the great racial ghoul. You are a fool, Batman. You've let your only I always encourage you guys to speak your mind. No, Victor. If Rachel Ghoul is in Arkham City, I now have a trail. Yeah, Miguel right said Batman Arkham City story is better than Arkham Knight. I concur. It's just the graphics, in my opinion. Yeah, I really think that the graphics of Arkham Knight, of course, it's better, but it's like you know. Other than that, the story mode is better in this game. Are you sure Barry, are you going to end stream after the Rachel Ghoul boss fight? Yes, because freedom. I know that you ended off there. I've met Rachel Ghoul many times. So I'll end right there. He claims to be over 600 years old, and I believe him, which means something is keeping him alive. Hudson said, I'm actually si the correct, same way. Batman. Kiwi is about After Star Wars. All, your life depends on it. Oh, you mean about Harry Potter, but you're about Star Wars, but only in your own head. To other people, I just don't, I just know everybody has and deserves their own unique opinion. Yeah, I respect that. I respect that everybody has their own opinion. You know, everybody is different and that's beautiful. I need to isolate a forensic trail. It will lead me straight to the assassin. All right, let's do that. Got to scan the crime scene. Where is it? That's here. Okay, good. Oracle, change of plan. I'm going after the League of Assassins. Why? What have they got to do with all this? Oh, wait a minute. Is this about Raish or his daughter? Penguin had one of the League's assassins imprisoned in the museum. I recognize the insignia. She's a member of Talia's elite guard. I knew it. What is it about that woman that makes her instantly the most important person in your world? She's his baby mama, dude. Talia is not the goal, Barbara. I've uploaded Freeze's unfinished cure. Bro, he Looks knocked her like up. The answer is That's why. Blood. Okay, Bruce. I guess you need to go after him. But please stay focused. Don't let her get in the way again. Rachel Ghoul. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Okay. The Hush story mode, though, the side mission, this game is actually really good. Yeah. Live nudes. We're in the hat shop. <laughs> I see you have sent a data request on 
You can actually enter that same building in Arkham Origins, that hat shop right there. Did you ever consider a bigger belt? I did. Too heavy. Slowed me down. Let me know when it's here. He said, Dan said, Barbara is jealous of that other woman that I forgot the name of. And Bruce. That's funny. Bro, I really, I really don't like Batman and uh, Batgirl together romantically. It's, it's messed up, dude. Because she's Dick Grayson's girlfriend. And a lot of continuities. At least for some point in time, right? Oh, sorry. We have to follow the continuity. The, um, the blood trail. So, it's really messed up how in the DC animated universe, they made it so that Batman was hooking up with Barbara Gordon. He was sleeping with her when she was Dick Grayson's girlfriend. What the heck? And not even that, he knocked her up. In The Killing Joke, the movie, he knocks her up. And then the Joker um, paralyzes her. And then that's how that story goes. That's, that's really messed up. It's really dark. And that's why... Um, that's why Nightwing stopped talking to Batman. In the DC animated universe. The old one, that is. Where is it? Okay, here's the, here's the trail. Tally Al Ghul, you mean? Yeah, we're about to see Robin. <laughs> Robin's only in this game for like all the four seconds. All the four seconds. Nightwing's not even in the story. But at least you could play as them. That's the only downside. <laughs> is that you, like, there's not any more of Robin and Nightwing in this game. But they play a huge part in the comics, though, of this same story. Where's the... Oh, does it go down here? No, it goes up. There we go. Hmm. The blood trail has run out. The only way I'm going to find that assassin is to locate more evidence. They still have to be somewhere around here, though. Bandages. Yeah, it's essentially Batman was, like, hooking up with his son's girlfriend. And it's not just his son's girlfriend, it's his best friend's daughter, Jim Gordon. It's his best friend's daughter that he's hooking up with, and his son's girlfriend. That's insane, bro. And he knocked her up, too. He knocked her up. That's tough. Yeah, like, no wonder so many people were outraged when the Killing Joke movie came out. Like, when I saw that, I was like, ew. Bro, how are they going to make that happen? How are they going to make Batman do that? That's messed up on all kinds of levels. I was like, oh, Batman's a simp. <laughs> are you serious? Doing that? Are you kidding me? Bro, that's tough. Hudson said when Bar when Batman is dating Nightwing's girlfriend and Nightwing is significantly younger, which means Barbara must also be younger unless Nightwing is dating an old an oldie. Like like a cougar. Take her. Stand down. A MILF. <laughs> Bro, he's in this game for all of four seconds. Watch. Do not follow us. He has one cutscene. At least he gets one. Nightwing doesn't even get a single cutscene in this game. Your help. Really? It's not what it looked like from where I was standing. I had it under control. That's Troy Baker. Why did Alfred Same voice of Two Face. He was worried about you. Oh. Take this. Get it analyzed and start searching the hospitals and emergency rooms. Anyone with this blood in them will be. You're just dead giving him busy work. For hours. Whose blood is it? Oh, it's yours, isn't it? I'll get it to the hospitals and come back. You need my help here. That hood is so it. sick, though. You're honestly. It's so dumb how they take it off worse. in Arkham Knight. You think? He looks so much better with the hood Strange on. Strange really knows who you are. So much more badass. What happens if he tells everyone? How will you? 
Trust me, I'll find it. <laughs> it looks Ray. so funny when Batman Beyond is telling him this. <laughs> wow. If you need me, you know where I am. I know. Now go. Quick Robin, to the Batcave! <laughs> oh man, okay. So actually, to answer that, that comment, Hudson, Barbara Gordon's actually older than Dick Grayson by like a year. She's older than him by like a year. But that's still kind of messed up though. Because when Batman adopted Dick Grayson, Batman was 24 years old and Dick Grayson was 12. So, that means that Barbara was 13. And I think it was when Dick was 18 that he became Nightwing, like he moved out or whatever. Which means that Barbara was 19. That's crazy. Where are we going? Locate racial ghoul and retrieve a sample of his blood. Locate a. S oh, we have to go back to the subway. Oh, okay. But what's that tracker for? No, it has to be in there. Wait, was that Tim Drake or Damien Wynn? I couldn't tell if it was a staff or... That was Tim Drake. That was Tim Drake. That was a staff. I mean, I think you could tell that it's not Damien, considering the fact that he didn't say one stupid thing in the time that he was there. Not to hate on Damien Wynn or anything. I actually I actually don't find him as, a, as annoying as most people find him. But still, like, compared to Tim Drake... Tim Drake is just the better Robin. Okay, so we have to go to the subway to find this thing. We're going this way, right? Yep. Nope, is it this way? Uh, that's where that uh, subway station is. I swear it was over there. Wait a minute, let me just check this. What? Then we move on his territory. See how he likes it. What the freak is that? They look so surprised. This is Gotham City. Is it really that surprising to see Batman where thugs are? Oh, that's why these are that's why they're there. You know, maybe I just have to follow that, actually. Whatever that is. What what even is that? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. You know, maybe for fun, I'll just follow that. <laughs> well, I got confused because he had the pointy hood. And assassins usually wear hoods. Yeah, because in the comics, the only... Robin that actually wears a hood is Damien because he's the only one who's skilled enough to wear a hood and fight at the same time But in this game, it's Tim who has the hood I'm just gonna follow what that is and see what happens And assassins usually wear hoods. I guess it typically looks more Muslim though it meaning the hood Yeah, it's like, uh, I see how you could see how you think it's, uh, Damien. How it could be either one. I could see that. Batman is literally flying. Like, there's nothing Batman can't do. Oh, that's right. He can't save his dead parents. I know it's kind of rough. So let's get this straight. Batman saved Freeze from Penguin. Are they working together? Okay, so what is that? Ah, what even is this? What is what is that? But he took down Penguin to get free. 60 meter. Is this some kind of glitch? Sure what am I tracking? Was to be Joker well. It's moving. What what? 
That's a glitch. Bro, I've never seen that before in my life. What is that? Oh, no, it's not. That's right. We have to enter through over here. I forgot. That's right. But the... I think it's a glitch. I thought it was a glitch because of the meters. It was like the same thing. Like 60, 59, 60. But now it's actually working. That meter is the assassin? Yeah. How do we take these guys out? So we have the disruptor. We can... Oh, we can't. We don't have the upgrade yet. It would help if I could take out their guns. Yeah, the, the firearm jammer. I don't have that, though. So I guess I'm going to have to... I'm going to use a smoke pellet. That should probably work. <laughs> Did they actually land some shots on me? That's crazy. No. Crap. <laughs> Yo, he got yeeted in the air. He got shot into the air. Batman. I figured you'd have a little more fight in you. Yo, he looks so nasty. Wrong. Ugh. That's that's gross, bro. He looks radioactive. Joker. So four armed men that we have to take out. I don't have the jammer. I don't need to fight them. Oh, I can just glide in there. Oh, he's a student right now. That's right. He becomes a teacher. Oh, it says Dick Grayson. He, he's not Dick Grayson. I just mean that his bio mentions Dick Grayson. That's what I mean to say. It mentions him. Do you think it's true? Yeah, so Riddler has his first riddle in this um, church. I'm not going to do that. And by the way, Azrael, this is where you meet Azrael at the end. Once he finishes his thing. So that's where you look for it after you meet him four times. Just go straight into the hole. That's what she said. <laughs> Dan said, hold on. He said, you don't need to fight them. Just go straight in the hole. <laughs> All right, let's try that. Let's, let's do that. Let's see if it works. It'll work. I trust him. I just said I've never tried it before. Let's try it out. It'll be helpful for speed runs. So let's get this straight. Batman saved Freeze from Penguin. Are they working together? Nah, Look at those clouds in the sky, though. Freeze. They're so circular. Like, it's nighttime, but it's so bright in Gotham City. Like, New Jersey is not this bright. Since Gotham is based in New Jersey. Oh, then again, it's still a fictional city. The city itself is fictional, so they can do whatever they want. <laughs> what are they going to say? <laughs> wow. So they see it, but they don't do anything. That's funny. I didn't know that. Thanks for the tip. My signal may get weak. Try and stay locked up. That's also what she said. <laughs> yeah, that, chat, that chat's popping. Don't fight it. Go straight in the hole. <laughs> bro, that's what Wonder Woman said, bro. 1984? Bro. Don't fight it, fake Steve. <laughs> fake Steve. <laughs> bro. Yo. That guy got assaulted. No cap. That guy? She assaulted him, bro. Oh my god. I was talking to homeboy at the comic store, and I was like, yo, you see the new Wonder Woman? He was like, yeah. I was like, what'd you think? He was like, bro, what did they do to Wonder Woman? I was like, exactly. So he, first, like, he was beating around the bush. Like, he was talking about, like, the basic details of why it wasn't that good. And then, and then I was like, yeah, not to mention, are we not going to talk about how she raped that guy, like, straight up? And he was like, oh, no, 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 he got raped. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. I mean, it was messed up, bro. I was like, how do they put that in the movie? How do they make a beloved character who is Joker's a model inspiration to so many youngsters a rapist? Bro. That's tough. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> she didn't even use the last of truth or anything. She just did it, bro. It's 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 bad, dude. It's bad. I can't watch the movie ever again. I don't want to watch the movie again, bro. That scene is just too much. It's too much. It's like, dang, because Wonder Woman's one of my top ten favorites in DC. But that scene, it's like, bro, how am I supposed to respect this character after that? Bro, that's evil. And you know what's even worse? So, that movie came out in December, right? So, at that time, I hadn't seen a movie in theaters in a few months. Because of, you know, the quarantine, all that kind of stuff. And there just really wasn't anything new coming out. So when Wonder Woman came out, I was like, yo, this is the first new blockbuster that's going to come out that I'm really looking forward to. Because I'm a huge DC fan, right? So I go there. And like I said before, did I, did I mention this? Because it was so long, and I wasn't, I wasn't doubting. I didn't think that the movie could be bad because I'm such a big DC fan. And the first Wonder Woman was just so good, you know? So I bought popcorn, but I bought the tin with the Wonder Woman 84, like the gold popcorn tin. That's like my biggest regret in life is buying that. <laughs> because then when I watched the movie, I was like, bro, I can't eat out of this anymore. Anyway, let's see. Firearm jammer, that's going to come in handy. He said, LOL, yeah, I think that's one thing that makes DC better, having fictional cities and having full creative control. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And when you think of it, like, Marvel has, like, a good 20 superheroes in one city in New York. But I guess that could work sometimes, too, because then they can run into each other and have some crossover stories. But you could do the same thing with DC. Okay. I have that perk, right? There we go. Wait, who has the blade here? Oh, it's that guy right there. Boom. Blade dodge takedown. Super helpful. That's a necessity. In this game is the blade dodge takedown. The blade dodge takedown. It's just so helpful. Okay. Now we're back in the subway. Hmm. Bro. Those cheekbones can cut butter. <laughs> Look at how sharp that is. My god. Protocol 10 will commence in five hours. So you mean to tell me that Batman is supposed to play through this entire game canonically in one night? Same with Arkham Knight. Same with Arkham Asylum. Okay, Arkham Asylum is believable. Arkham Asylum is believable. Arkham City, that's believable too. But Arkham, As Arkham Knight, that is not believable. All of those side missions, that's bullshit. There's no way he's finishing all of that in one night. And even the Riddler trophies in this, that's a stretch. I don't think he canonically collects them because that's crazy. <laughs> There's no way Batman would actually collect all of them. Well, actually, he's just psychotic enough. He might. Oh, that was an accident. That was actually really funny. The squat. Yeah, Batman's gonna get a, a workout real fast. Squats. How much does he squat? Probably a lot. Oh, he's about to choke up some blood. Right? He's been poisoned. The Joker's right? blood. The Joker's inside him right now. Just his blood. Give me a minute. <laughs> Yo, is Batman gonna get AIDS? I'll be all right. Because he has another dude's blood inside of him. If it's not the same blood type, that can really mess you up. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, like, how is he supposed to even recover from that? He has somebody else's blood in him. And it's not even just a normal person. You don't know if it's the same blood type. And it's the Joker, who's poisoned. There's no cure for that. Oh, this is a comic video game. Anything can happen. If the Riddler... Is holding hostages, then Batman will find the trophies. <laughs> exactly. Can you imagine if they had the Riddler be like Saw? That would be so sick. Imagine having the Riddler be like a Saw kind of character. All right, he has like these traps, and he's like actually a force to like be like, oh man, this is some scary stuff. Like this guy is not to be messed with. In this game, he's a joke. Yeah, in the Arkham games, the worst thing. The, the, the character that they it do the like worst Joker justice to is Riddler, by far. They make him an idiot. That's not good. Those guys 
guys are armed with, the with too much free time if Joker gets his hands on that and too much money. Well, Arkham City inmate dialogues are funnier than Arkham Knight. You're also <laughs> that's so true. That's so true. Look, what we got here. Look at how wide his head is. Jesus Christ. And that oh, neck, bro. He doesn't skip neck Not day. Like um, he doesn't skip any day. Please. Jesus Christ. I don't know what's going on here. Someone in this room is using a signal jammer. I'll need to neutralize it. So it's that guy right there. Targets. This guy is using the signal jammer. What are these things? With that ridiculous looking backpack. See, this this game also has the best maps. I was talking about that earlier. This game has the best maps, the combat maps, than in any other Arkham game by far. Best challenge maps. The design of all of them are just so good. You'll see me if I do this. No, you won't. Please let me go. Is that the sound of one of your Never fear, Batman is here. I hope so. Do what Joker said. I've got this way covered. Bro, Batman is as thick as my oatmeal. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bro, that's breakfast. Jesus. Oh, oh, this is perfect. Let's take him out real fast. Oh, is he gonna see me? Oh, that clown's just. He's just in one place. Oh, I know. Watch this. No! Ah! Oh! I was about to knock him off the thing. You can do that in this game. It's essentially murder, but the game doesn't call it that. Watch. Look, bro, he almost fell off the ledge. Watch, watch, watch. <laughs> Are they not shooting at me yet? Really? Wait, watch, watch. You'll see. You'll see. Watch. Look at that! That's murder! <laughs> He fell down two stories. He's this okay. Mark Hamill, best Joker? Absolutely. Have you seen Barry's Joker? It's very, very good. <laughs> thanks, Hudson. Thanks. One of the best costumes I've ever seen. That means so much, dude. Yeah, it's on my channel. Barry Aaron Dilla. My third channel. Hang on. I, I do cosplays on that channel. Talk about lifestyle stuff, philosophy. <laughs> I have one video on it so far, but in the next three weeks, I'm going to start uploading on there very often. Thank you. What are you doing in Arkham City? I'm in Arkham City? What the hell am I doing here? <laughs> I was grabbed outside the hospital I entered. She looks like that chick they from Shameless, and Fiona. I in a building up there. The person in charge here is... Oh, I have the voice too. Thanks, man. To try to fix and Arkham Asylum's Looks combat like challenges... He's dying, right? Excuse me, it's a lot easier it to pull them off the ledges. Is oh, absolutely. To feel bad about that? What now? You, you mean in the Predator here. maps, right? Keep out yeah. of sight, and you'll be fine. I'll be back. Oracle, it's me. Joker's not stealing the weapons from Strange. I swallowed too much. Strange is giving Joker. That's what she weapons. said. <laughs> Are you sure? Of course oh. you're sure. Why would he do that? Maybe he's trying to control who runs the streets. That was my throat. Do you hear that? But shouldn't you find Raish first? I'm doing that now. Don't There's worry. one fatal flaw with this suit. There's no zipper to pee. There's like what? How does he even put the suit on? There's no zipper down the back or anything. How does he put this on? <laughs> does he just wear it all the time? Is it just him now? Yo! Her name's Fiona too! I watched a few episodes of Shameless back in high school when my dad was watching it. And there's the, the main character, her name's Fiona. She looks exactly like this. And this girl's name is Fiona, and she looks like the main character. It's crazy. Alright, so we're going through here. Oh, no. Here. And by the way, this is another riddle. Ansel right here. And Why do I keep saying Ansel? Answer. Speaking of Ansel, Baby Driver is a fantastic movie. First person. You know things are about to get trippy in an Arkham game if it gets to the first person. You know, it's a fact. Miguel says, I like Batman Arkham Knight because it shows the backstory of Barbara Gordon and how she lost her ability to walk and Jason Todd and how Joker tortured him. You know what? Yes. That's also true. They have very good backstories in that game. You know, I don't know if you read the, the, the story, the comic story, Batman 3 Jokers. I haven't even read it myself, even though I have all the books. I'm going to read it sometime soon. You would like that story. Because it talks about 
the trauma that Barbara went through, Joke, uh, Jason went through, and Batman went through with the Joker. And if you like that in Arkham Knight, I think you would love that that book. Based on what I've seen about it. Barry, can I get a... It was me, Barry! Is it that or is it uh That's what she said. Let's see. You have failed this city. Malcolm Merlin, you have failed this city. Hudson Walker, you have failed this city. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> I could do that so much better too. I've been singing all day though, so I'm in the higher registers right now. I'm Batman. Hold on, hold on. I need a, I need a wait. I need to stand up for this or just like like kneel. Ready? Okay. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. That's too much. That's too much. Barry, do your joke impression while saying this. How about another joke, Murray? Okay. It's been a month since I've done that joke impression, by the way. So let me see. Ooh, hee, hee, hoo, ha. Ooh, hee, 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 hoo, ha. I need to get in the character. Give me a second. But the door looks right. like it's been sealed for decades. The assassins must be using another You want to know how I got these scars? These My father was a drinker. And a fiend. And one night he comes home crazier than usual. Mommy grabs the kitchen knife to defend herself. He doesn't like that. Not one bit. So, me watching, he grabs the knife, laughing while he does it. <laughs> what? Oh shit! I forgot the rest of the line. Um. <laughs> oh, turns to me and says, "Why so serious?" Son, sticks the blade in my mouth. Why so serious, son? And... Wah! Oh my gosh, that makes me shiver. You're so good at it. Thank you so much, man. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do the How About Another Joke, Murray. Even though... I, do, I, I don't... I haven't practiced Arthur Fleck... Arthur Fleck's voice for that version of Joker, but I'll try it in the Heath Ledger voice. How about another joke, Murray? No, Murray was too much. Hold on. How about another joke, Murray? No, it's too much with Murray. I need to get Murray right. But the rest of it, I think, was okay. Murray. Murray. No, that's too that's too aggressive. That's more like Batman. Murray. Mur Murray. Mur that's more like it. That's more like it. How about another joke, Murray? Oh my god. I need more practice with that. I need more practice with it. I got the first part pretty well, I think. But that last part, Murray, it was it wasn't too good. That Murray voice. I I had to get that Murray right. The pronunciation. Oh my gosh, that makes me shiver. You're so good at it. Thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> oh man. I remember um my last Thanksgiving with my family. It was um before quarantine. It was twenty nineteen. And that was right after my first Comic Con where I went in cosplay as the Joker. And I did the Joker cosplay three times. I did the first time for, for Comic Con. I did a second time for a cosplay costume party for Halloween. And I won the costume contest. I won like a hundred bucks. Um, <laughs> yeah. And just the apartment complex that I lived in, you know, back before I moved. And then the third one was I was just in Thanksgiving. But this time I didn't have the suit on. I didn't have the makeup on. And I was just around my family then. And for Thanksgiving, I did in front of the entire table... All my relatives, I did the Joker voice and impression live, and it was—it it was, they were like they were freaking out, <laughs> like it was chilling, bro. Oh my god, like in person, it's a whole other thing too, because I do like the eye contact and everything. It's crazy. Yeah, that's why I had to—I had to sit up higher for it, because I knew it would be better. Oh, this is creepy. Miguel asked, B Barry, did you ever collect all the Riddler trophies from Batman Arkham Knight? It was so annoying and difficult. I felt like giving up. An awesome voice, Barry. Thank you, man. That means a lot. Yeah, I actually did complete all of the trophies in Arkham Knight. I got all the Riddler, tro all the Riddler trophies, and I'll even show you real fast. I showed my other bros, <laughs> my other bros, this in a second, but uh, not in a second. I showed them before. Let's see. 
I'll show you this real fast. Just to go over it. So I have the trophy, the platinum for Arkham City. Not with the DLCs though, but I have it for the main game. I have the platinum for Arkham Asylum. And I have the platinum for Arkham Knight. And not just the platinum, I have every single DLC pack 100%. I would show you if it would load, but... If you have me on PlayStation, if you have PlayStation, you'll see it if this doesn't load. Or you can watch this video on the main on the second channel, Dilla Dynamics XL Tomorrow, and you'll see it. You can scrub through the video. Um, or you can just take my word for it. <laughs> I'll show it off again later when we play Arkham Knight, specifically. Dan said, try this with the Joe compression. What happens when you cross a mentally ill person with a society that treats him like trash? I'm telling you, Murray, you get what you effing deserve. Do you, guys, do you guys mind if I drop an F-bomb? Because, like, I don't mind doing it when I'm doing impressions. I will do it for an impression. Same like the reverse flash. I've been meaning to say the reverse flash impression that I have. I have it memorized. But, like, it's, it's kind of gross. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of gross. But, I mean, I think you guys would like it. If you guys want to hear it, I'd be more than happy to do it for you. Just let me know. If you're cool with profanity. With profanity. You don't mind the F-bomb? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it then. Okay. You don't mind it? Okay, good. <laughs> Hudson, what do you say? Oh, I gotta scan these boys. That's right. Go ahead. Okay, cool. Let's read this. Okay, so... Dan wants me to do, with the Joe compression, the data is let me just read it one more time. What happens when you cross a mentally ill person with a society that treats him like trash? I like how he puts it in caps too, to like emphasize, like the louder parts. I'm telling you, Murray, you get what you effing deserve. Okay. What happens when you cross a mentally ill person? No, it's too much to mentally. What happens when you cross a mentally ill person? With a society that treats him like trash. I'm telling you, Murray. You get what you deserve. Okay. I have to get into character. I have to get into character. I'm getting it. Because that's an intense line. It's intense. It gets like hardcore in two seconds. But in the meantime, I'm going to do the reverse flash. And then I'm going to do the Joker. I'm going to do the Joker one. Just like how you want it. Okay. <laughs> this one always makes me laugh, too. Because... It's Eobard, bro. Already? Need some water. Okay, serious face. Serious face. Remember the time when you were making out with your first girlfriend? And you came right as she touched your leg? It was me, Barry! I jerked you off at super speed, so it seemed like you nutted at just a woman's touch. <laughs> Let me sit down for that, actually. <laughs> It's the funniest thing I've ever heard. It's my it's by far my favorite meme. It's by far my favorite meme of all time. Reverse Flash, C. Thomas Hall, the voice actor, he's he's kinda like it's kinda gritty and it's kind of like like a like a like it's very dark. It's very menacing, but it's also very clear at the same time. So I'm trying to duplicate that. It's like it was me, Barry. <laughs> and it's not too loud either. But, of course, with the meme, they play it up to make it funnier. So. Remember the time when you were making out with your first girlfriend? And you came right as she touched your leg? It was me, Barry! I jerked you off at super speed, so it seemed like you nutted at just a woman's touch. <laughs> hey, Barry, can I still add you on PlayStation if I'm on PS4 and you're on PS5? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can add me. It's uh, just Dilla Dynamics, uh, right here. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> oh, it's showing my name. It's not actually. That's it. Dilla Dynamics, and now I can show you the trophy. <laughs> that's gotta be the weirdest thing they've ever put in a TV show that even children watch. No, that's <laughs> that's part of the joke though. That's part of the joke. That's not actually. Have you se you've seen that meme though, right, Hudson? Because I know you're usually in clutch. You're usually clutch with the memes too. Like you know all kinds of memes that I don't even know. <laughs> But, like, if you look up Reverse Flash Hate Boner, you'll see it. You'll see that meme. It's essentially a voiceover off the Reverse Flash that sounds exactly like the voice actor, but it's some other guy saying it. 
But the funniest thing about that meme, though, is that it's essentially, like, it's completely believable for the Reverse Flash to actually say. So everyone says, even though it's a meme, to them it's like canon. It's like canon because it's like, it's something he would actually say. That's how messed up the Reverse Flash is. Miguel, this is, this is my 100% completion of Arkham Knight. Every single pack, 100%ed. So, yeah. It's gotta be the weirdest thing they've ever put in the team. Yeah, it would be. You've seen the meme? I'll add you in one sec. Actually, I'll do it right now. Accept. Awesome. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Your friendship. That's awesome. That was... That was me, Barry! I added you on PlayStation. On the PlayStation Network. Add me back. I feel like... I slip from the reverse flash impression into the into my Rick impression from Rick and Morty so easily because they're very similar in a very peculiar way. They're like very similar, it's surprisingly so. Does anybody else watch Rick and Morty? New season next month. <laughs> nice one, Barry. Barry, can you do the joke impression? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. See, Batman's uh <laughs> Batman's equal. Equal rights. He'll throw these lefts at anyone. These left hooks. I thought there was three of them. I, I could have sworn there were three of them two seconds ago. Okay, he wants me to say this. What happens when you cross a mentally ill person with a society that treats him like trash? I'll tell you, Murray, you get what you fucking deserve. That wasn't really in the Joe compression at the end, but oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, you asked. <laughs> oh my god. Which I don't mind because it was really good. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Dan is just like Joker, 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 Joker. I gotta go soon, so that sucks. Don't worry. We're gonna end this soon anyway. We're gonna get into this, and then we're gonna... I just need to get through this map. Yeah, I just need to get through this stage, and then we'll probably call it. Tomorrow we'll take out Rachel Ghoul. <laughs> okay. Barry, I need help on how to pass the Arkham City complete 100%. I can definitely help you with that. I'm glad you asked. What do I have to do next? Um, well, what have you done so far? Have you co so you've completed the story. Okay. Have you got it? Well, you need to get you need to get all the Riddler, bro. I need to get some water. <laughs> I need to get some water. Okay, what's that saying? Okay, so to get 100% in the story, you have to get 100% of the Riddler trophies completed as well. You have to get all the trophies done, and then after you do that, make sure you have all the side missions done too. So for Bane. You have to get all of the Titan containers destroyed with the explosive gel. For <laughs> thank you. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Dan. See you tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out with me as always. It's always fantastic to hang out with you. <laughs> also love the impressions. <laughs> thank you. Bane is done. See you next time. Me too, Barry. The impressions are great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying- I'm always trying to make them better, too. The hardest thing about the the Rick impression, though, for Rick and Morty is, like, he burps a lot. And I don't know how to make myself burp on, like, command. Like, but that's the hardest thing. Oh, I closed the connection. I think it's just Asriel that you have to do? Okay, so for Asriel, that's actually very easy. So... You just need to find the four locations for Azrael. Two of them, I could tell you. All right, actually, I could tell you four of them right off the bat. Actually, one of the locations is above the building, right across the street from the courthouse. Okay. The second location is on top of the Ferris wheel, next to the Sionis uh, steel mill. The third location is right across the. Um, it's the building across from the GCPD. The fourth location is a little bit more tricky. It's closer to the museum. Um, on, I'll show you on the map, actually. I, I, I could show you where it is, because it's kind of hard to explain. It's, like, right here. 
it's on this building, this building. It's one of these four buildings where the next location is. So this is where Azrael is. He's here. One location here. I showed you the other one before. Th second location here, or third location. Fourth location, um, wherever the Ferris wheel is. I think it's somewhere here. You'll know it. You'll see it. However you say his name, I gotta match th the symbols. Okay, yeah. So you're close. You're doing it right now? Good. Okay. Where are the other robots? What the heck? Let's see. I'll learn... <laughs> You learn how to burp on command? How do you do it? <laughs> you can be my burping coach too. You're, you're already my injustice coach. <laughs> oh my gosh. How do you burp on command? That would do wonders for my Rick impression. <laughs> Morty. <laughs> Morty. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm half assing it right now. That's what I'm doing. Didn't do it all the way. Let's see. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hold on. I just remember drinking a lot of chocolate and milk the night before, and it was like slightly more bubbly than usual. Really? I gotta try that out then. Where are the other robots? What am I'm missing them. I got one here. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I have to go into there. And the next day, I can magically burp whenever I want it, really? Oh, there's one on the top? Oh, I think I know what you mean. Over here. Yeah, 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 I see it. Nice. That's the last one, I think. Thanks, man. He said, watch it for the ninjas, by the way. They spawn. <laughs> okay, so I think we need one more. If, yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, Can I still milk this guy? No, he's already scanned. So I think I could see it, though, if I... Because he showed up blue before I scanned him. So maybe... There's one more. I need to find that last one. And when I first did it, it felt like an air bubble in my throat. It's not uncomfortable, though. Yeah, it sounds kind of... I was going to say odd, but okay. It was four years ago. Because <laughs> you know how they record Rick and Morty. They have the guy... Um, his name is Justin Roiland. He does both the voices for Rick and Morty. And he drinks, like, beer as he's doing the, the show. As he's reading the lines. So that's how he's able to... Oh, I didn't scan this guy. That's how he's able to burp so much. Just naturally. What version of that game do I have? This is... The this one. Shows me where the Return to Arkham. The collection. So, it's both it. Arkham Asylum and City Remastered for PS4. Yeah, so I already knew this is where the entrance is, but the game makes you have to figure it out. Activate secret pa panel. It looks like a sword fits here. <laughs> Watch this magically come out of nowhere. Watch. It looks like a sword fits here. Oh crap! I was <laughs> I wasn't holding onto the controller. That's why I missed it. Yo, he just crushed her skull against that brick wall. How is her head not bleeding? How is her skull not cracked? I mean, actually, that's a pretty solid bone to Protocol to crack. It's not a huge hours. burp though, but it's definitely audible. Oh, I got the Armored Edition, which I don't know what it has, though. Yeah, it's the same thing. The only difference with the Armored Edition is it's only for the Wii U. The, Ar the Armored Edition is only for the Wii U, and it essentially gives Batman and Catwoman... And that's a riddle right there at the bottom. That uh, dead guy, I think. It's a croc riddle. So... Yeah, the Armored Edition just gives Batman and Catwoman new uh, suits. But honestly, I prefer it on PlayStation more. The graphics are just, you know, even PlayStation 4, it just, it just plays better because it's not, it's not Return to Arkham. You're playing the same version as the old version of the game if you play it on Wii U, but it's not the, the remastered. The remastered is Return to Arkham. Bruce, you can hear me, and there's two versions of it. There's one with just these two games, this is the one that I have, and there's one with three games, 
Arkham Knight included we with the other two. So much. But you can learn how to make it bigger. You can try doing it now without anything. Oh, the electricity gauntlets, right? Oh, yeah. Bruce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruce. Trying to burp. Your vitals, oh, man. It's like they're in free fall. Oh, that reminds me. I had a piece of moldy bread last week. Now. By accident. <laughs> and I only caught on right after I ate. Oh, I made four slices. Oh, and they all had mold on it. it. And rate, I, I only ate one before I realized that they had mold on it. So I, I made myself throw up. At least I tried to. I tried to, but it got stuck in my throat before it can come out. So it was pretty. It was pretty nasty. Yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm not eating bread again. I should have put it in the fridge, but that's on me. Anyway, it made me rethink bread as well. Bro, this suit is insane. Jesus Christ. No, he's dying. He's legit dying right now. It looks kind of goofy with Batman Beyond doing that, though. Oh, so it changes between him and him. Okay. Because in Arkham Knight, whatever skin you pick, you should have listened to my it stays the same in the cutscenes. No so that's one cool thing about Arkham Knight, Stop. is that it has more characters you could play, and it has more skins you can choose. Talia Al Ghul in the flesh. She's kind of hot, not gonna lie. <laughs> that's abuse. Hello, Talia. How did you find us? I recognized your personal guard. It was just a matter of following her. Please, mistress, he tricked me. Please. Just open your... I will oh, em okay. You em inmate dialogue to Batman. You Come here, Batman. I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> and then they always get destroyed. Every inmate says that until they get destroyed. And then they still try it again. They're not very smart, are they? If he's dead again... Just open your mouth slightly with your top front teeth somewhat visible. And it's like the instead of like breathing in, almost suck the air into your throat, and then you kind of feel like a bubble forms. Just imagine it, you. Oh, I know what you mean. And then just try to make it like a burn sound and push it out, a burp sound and push it out. Your face, bro. What happened? I'm here to take my place at your side. You wish to become an assassin. Why should I trust this change of heart? You saw my face. Barry, where do I find Calendar Man? Oh, are you trying to get that trophy where you have 12 murderous dates with Calendar Man? He's underneath the courthouse. Go to the courthouse where you saved Catwoman at the start of the game against Two-Face. Go into the basement, which is in the back of the courthouse. And you'll find him in the bottom. If you want the trophy for the 12 dates, if you don't want to wait an entire year to get the trophy, all you have to do is go into your PlayStation settings... Turn off the network, and then change the date manually. Reopen the game, open o over and over again until you do it for all the different calendar dates. It's one per month. Oh wait. Have proven to be nothing more than Excuse me. Do you hear that? That was wait. Excuse me. Oh my God, Hudson, it works. I've seen worse. Hudson, it works. Nothing can prepare you for. It wasn't big or anything, and it wasn't like a lot. Destiny will be. But it was like on. It was like a late onset. It came in like a little bit after. I have heard the burp. These words a hundred times. That's crazy. Let us hope you are correct. That actually really works. Alright, so we're just gonna go up to the racial ghoul boss fight. And then we're gonna call it tonight. Are you sure, Bruce? Only one man has passed this ordeal. Are you trying to talk me out of this? Of course not. I just I just want you to be certain. When the blood of Yo, that's Damien Wayne's hold, mother, bro. You will be on your own. Oh my god. Then may the spirits be kind. Of course. You're very welcome, Miguel. If you have any other questions about Arkham City, I'm happy to answer them. Or any of the Arkham games welcome, for that matter. Detective. Or Resident I'm Evil. Or Injustice. Before you lies your first demon trial. Simply drink from the chalice. It is that simple. <laughs> it's like, how does Batman Beyond, like, Feel how does he... The blood of the demon course through Wii U veins, using the gamepad as the map touchscreen. Oh, okay. And I'm about to teach Barry burp and combos. Coming in clutch. It actually worked, too. It really works. 
Follow me through this world, and the trial is complete. Touch anything along the way. Dude, the way you explained it was actually really, really good. I'm not surprised because you always explain things really well. But wow. <laughs> that, that, even that burping, that actually taught me something really, really interesting. It's going to come in handy with those Rick and Morty impressions. Oh, so you're playing on Wii U? Because I know that you have uh, PlayStation. These That's cool too. Prove if you are, to are lose there trophies on Wii U? I don't think there are, right? Or achievements? Barry, I could teach you some Injustice 2 combos. That'd be awesome, actually. I always love combos. I'm going to make a Discord chat with all the subscribers and stuff like that. And everyone's free to join. It's going to be awesome. And we could share combos with each other. And different stuff. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be close. It's going to be close. Forward, back, big burp. Down, forward, little burp. Back, burp, 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 burp. <laughs> there I am. There it is. Awesome. Something for Catwoman, too. Oh, yeah. Catwoman's awesome in this game, too. Oh, you, you have, oh, you mean you have Catwoman combos and Injustice. Oh, I would love that. Oh, you said Batman combos and cap, dude. I would really like love that. Oh my god. Oh, you, oh, you mean the pink trophies? Oh, okay. I was just talking to Hudson earlier about Catwoman. I was like, bro, to succeed me. the whip nene. <laughs> Trying to get some Catwoman combos. Honestly, I just like combos in general with any character. To be real. Okay. This is really trippy. Let's go. Oh, so, oh, so you're saying that you need more of the uh, Catwoman trophies, right? Yeah, of course. I'd love that. Catwoman, I can show you if you want. Sure. Years. Imagine the good Injustice too. yeah. That'd be awesome, man. Plus, I want to see those Batman combos, too. I main Batman and Green Arrow, but I always like branching out, too. Learning as much as I can about the game and all the different characters. So yeah, as soon as I make that uh, Discord, I'm gonna let you guys know. It's gonna be sick. I can see your body is becoming weaker. The small quantity that I have allowed you to drink will only keep you alive for a few more. Jesus Christ! Hours. Look at those muscles. It is time for you to. Oh make my God! Do you even lift, decision. bro? <laughs> yeah, he lifts. He lifts everything. <laughs> I just imagine Batman at the gym, like, lifting the max weight of every exercise, like it's nothing. Flexing. Oh my gosh. Catwoman can get great combos. I've just never tried her out. Yeah, same, same deal with me, too. But, like, I actually kind of want to learn her. I think that'd be pretty sick. Because I don't know how to play any female characters in the game. I know Black Canary is really good. I know Catwoman is really good. And Wonder Woman's really good. But to be honest. Oh, and Cheetah's really good. So I'm trying to learn more. I know I know Batman, I know Green Lantern, I know Green Arrow. I know a little Superman. Um it is time to face yes. me in person. Complete this final challenge, and the blood of the demon will give you the gift of eternal life. Oh, we got some, uh, I was going to say combos. Freudian slip. We get some extra stuff to unlock. Why is it always Vicky Vale? Bro, I changed it. I'm not trying to see Vicky Vale. Let's see. Oh, I, get a, I can give her this. That's fine. I've never tried Blue Beetle until two days ago, and then I made a 14. What the? F what? What? You made a 14 hit combo in 25 minutes? Okay, that's, 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 bro, I don't know how you keep doing it, Hudson. You keep, like, <laughs> like, like, just doing better and better and better. Like, I swear. No, it's really good. It's really, really good. Like, you're always so impressive. <laughs> like, your skills are very impressive, Hudson. You made a 14 hit combo with Blue Beetle in 20 minutes. 
that's impressive. There's a combo with green arrow with green lantern straight on. I can show. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I got green lantern stuff too. He's pretty good. Yeah. You could share videos in um Discord, right? Like little clips. And even if not, you could also share just the combo itself, like the the inputs. You did it. You sound. I'm excited to make it. Of course not. I always had faith. Where's Raish? I need to see him now. I'm running out of time. Your final challenge awaits you through this door. I pray the spirits will be kind. So, is Damien Wayne already born in this universe? Technically? Because... Yeah. Damien Rich. must already be born. Like, he must already be alive at this point. Welcome. If he's, like, canon. Which I have a feeling that he is in this universe. Yeah, this trade is useful. I got Green Lantern stuff, too. He's pretty good. Yeah, he's very easy to, to, to learn. Very good combos. Very simple too with timing. Oh, he's like a friggin' zombie. Not even you. I was gonna send you the blue you beetle today, but I didn't go I to my phone, so I'll have to do it through the Xbox tomorrow. This was oh yeah, you're good. Way. Take your time. Yeah, I think you can Discord clips. That'd be sick. Graphics so different compared to my Wii U. LOL. <laughs> you're good, dude. You're good. This is the PS5, so like. No. This takes like this. This thing is insane, bro. The PS5, bro. But I don't think it's just that. I think it's because it's the return to Arkham. Because this is the actual remastered version of the game. It still looks incredible on PS4 and normal Xbox. The Wii U version is like the original version. It's like the... There's like three different versions of Arkham City. There's the first one that came out initially for PS3 and Xbox. Then there's the one for Wii U, which is a little bit better. And there's the one that came out remastered for the new generation systems. So you're good. Now, oh, it finally went through. I'll send you the Blue Beetle one right now. Awesome. This the girl said, yeah, I saw your video with Green Lantern and wanted to help you out. See about oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, my live stream or my uh, my clip on YouTube. Yeah, I'd really appreciate that. I always want to become better at the game. I think one of these nights I'll have a live stream just for like doing combos and stuff like that. And I'll let you guys know in advance when it's going to be. So you guys can hop in. It'll be pretty sick. Or which is the uh, the Discord. We can do like a... I can make a video trying out all of the combos. Sick. All of your guys' combos. Yeah, you guys are the creative geniuses making combos. One of the coolest things ever. You should have killed me when you had the chance. Oh, you can't join the Discord? Well, I didn't even make it yet. So you really can't join it. But that's cool though. There, the, I have you a lot of options. I always like giving you guys options. Yeah, you can always tell me what it is on stream. You, you can always, always feel us. free to come hang out with us on the stream. We Even in my comment section on YouTube, I reply to nearly every comment. So you can get to me there. You can get to me here on live stream. You and even uh, on Instagram, you can DM me on there. Even though I don't really check social media that much. In terms of Instagram, so if you want to message me, um, YouTube is the best place, or um, live streaming Witness on Twitch, even better because then it's live. Of my Lazarus pit. <laughs> Thank you, Hudson. I can't wait to look at it. Oh, what am I doing? I have to use the REC gadget. That's right. Oh, you oh I went right through it. <laughs> Why do I keep going into it? Barry, do you have Snapchat? Um, no, I don't actually. I deleted that uh, a couple years ago. Send me some clips of some Batman combos. I would love that. Well, hold on. You're on PlayStation, right? You can just, um, you can record it on screen, and then you can just, um, message me on PlayStation. That's what Hudson does, except he does it on Xbox. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yo, he just got destroyed, bro. It appears I chose unwisely. Did he looks like Sylvester the cat from Looney Tunes. <laughs> if Sylvester was a person. 
You know, I'm wondering, maybe this will be a good place to start off the stream tomorrow. This, uh, this boss fight right here. <laughs> Miguel sounds like he's five times better than me. Do, do not underestimate yourself, Hudson. You're one of the best I've ever seen. Oh, you have any Bane combos, actually? I'm surprised we haven't talked about Bane yet. Because we've talked about a lot of characters, Hudson. You should have. You do a little. Oh, you do a little. Oh. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. Oh, we gotta take this dude out. Wait. Oh, this is like um the Deathstroke fight in Arkham Origins a little bit. The counters. Yo. We are fated to rule this. Oh, that was a fast boss fight. What the heck? The scum of humanity. Only we can do this. My father is. Yo, look old. where his knee is. That's kind of sus. Over. Ours is just beginning. Take He's worried blade. about that blade to his Kill throat. I'd be more worried about that knee Accept by his crotch. Oh, you were. Destiny. You were playing Ark of Origins with PS Now. I just got PS Now a few weeks ago, then, or beloved, last week, but I haven't really used it yet. Have to die. I'm going to, though. How is it, though, with the internet connection? The streaming? Because you can't download that one. You have to stream it. We MK9 also? That's sick. Legion. Oh, the boss fight's still going. I was like, wow, that's really fast. Yeah, of course it's not that fast. We are Legion! Uh-oh. See, this is the perfect oh. you cannot beat us. move to use when there's a ton of people around. Our numbers are too great. Little trick here. When you're pressing counter, like a ton, you let go of it as soon as like you push him off. So that way you can continue your combo. Our numbers are too great. You cannot Watch. Press and then let it go. See? Combo's still going. Okay, never mind. You cannot defeat us. Uh oh. We are just in my headphones. You cannot beat us. Bro, of course he's gonna beat you. He's Batman. Like what do you think this is? Our numbers are too great. You cannot beat us. Bro, this is what Batman lives for. To beat the crap out of multiple dudes at the same time. He's like the expert at it. We are Legion. The student becomes the teacher, Morty. For that. I didn't know I was doing a Rick impression until like after. I started. Our numbers are too great. Barry, can I ask for your help? Of course. What do you need help with? As soon as this boss fight's over, we're gonna call it a night. Yeah, but feel free to ask me anything. I love helping you guys out whenever I can. Oh, uh oh. Too close there. So on the, I'll read that in a second, dude. Just give me one sec. I'm a lot's going on right now on the screen. Counter, counter, counter. Okay. So on the capture gallery on PlayStation Four, can I send you the those clips to you? Yeah, I think you can. Yeah. So yeah, you just um do the the share, right? You press share. And, oh, he hit him with the sword. It's crazy. 
Rachel Ghoul for Injustice 3. Sign the petition. <laughs> I don't know. Um What are you doing? Listen to me. Yo, how detective. is he so pale, but his daughter Listen is so well. not pale? You She's tan, will bro. Kill me. You will lead the League of Assassins. Because if you do not join us, I will kill the only person you have ever loved. This wasn't part of the That's not true. Plan. Batman loves his mom. And his dad. And his dick. Grayson. His son. <laughs> and um Tim. And Barbara. And Alfred. Do it. Bro, how does he not see this coming? Come on now. Left hook. Jeez. He was out with his mouth open. Oh my gosh, that's so intrusive. This guy just keeps taking people's blood. He has Joker's blood in him. He has all these goons, random goons in Arkham City, their blood on his hands. And now he has this guy's blood. And you, you lied to me. I thought you loved me, Bruce. I thought you were ready to join our crusade. You're really gonna pull that oh, card no. right now? Don't. You two deserve each other. <laughs> You're looking old, Raish. What's really going on here? I have used the Lazarus Pit too many times. I've lived 600 years. That beard years. is trippy, though. My He's got all sorts of things going on there. Take much more. Each time. I Hudson, pit, look. I am frightened of you hear what he just said? Out. Each time I enter the pit, the Lazarus pit is word for word. Your mind. Think about it. How is he not your an injustice too? Come on, long hands. <laughs> that kind of trailer. To stop centuries of destruction. This is your chance for redemption, Raish. Call off your crusade. What if I'll Batman dies? They put him in the Lazarus pit in Injustice Three, and then he becomes evil, and then he's the bad guy. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna read these chats and then we're gonna call it a night. Where the hell have you been? I thought you were I'm gonna let her talk actually for a second. Sorry to disappoint you. Did you find Raish? Hold on. Your suit's readings are back to normal. Are you cured? What's going on? Raish and his forces are based underneath Arkham City, extracting some kind of naturally occurring chemical he's called Lazarus. He's been using it for centuries slowly perfecting the process until he was even able to bring himself back from the dead and you took some he forced me to small doses appear to heal most ailments but even the small amount i ingested had a few nasty side effects prolonged exposure bro his shoulders are as wide as a door the frame <laughs> so do you think you're cured wow no the effects are temporary race tried to convince me to use his pit but the risks are too great when I'm done here, I'll need to investigate this Lazarus technology further. I told Raish to shut his pit down. And you think he will? Unlikely. Raish is addicted to the pit. I've given him one chance. Oh, they're to having break a full-on conversation. Or I'll be back to do it myself. Okay. So Miguel asked. So when the capture, bro, he's sample. still talking. Yeah, he's Hold on. Gotham General. It's going crazy there. I'll patch through. Hey, bud. Am I glad to hear from you? It's me. What's happening there? Bruce, it's not good. That's a curve. Gotham General has at least 30 confirmed cases. There are nearly 50 at Mercy, and it's looking like the pattern repeats all over the city. I've run a simulation. Joker's blood could be in as many as 2,000 people by the morning. The first fatalities are expected soon after that. I'm on my way back to Freeze right now. Hopefully, the blood sample I extracted from Raish will complete the formula. I hope you're right. Okay. All right, homeboys, I got you. Miguel said, so on the capture gallery on PlayStation 4, can I send the, those clips to you? So, yeah, I think how it works is you just hit the share button after you um, shoot something to get the video. And then you could, I think you could share it with me direct from there. If not, you could do the capture gallery as well. Um, yeah, I don't think it should be too hard to figure out because I know PlayStation is very heavy on the sharing feature, you know. I mean, they have a whole button for it, right? Hudson said, you know, making combos in Injustice seems like making it is the longest part. But most of the time, it's actually testing the combo and repeating, repeatedly failing it and trying new stuff to make it work. Yeah, I could definitely see that, man. And also in different situations, too. But one of the coolest things is how you can kind of mix and match 
smaller combos into one bigger one and interchange parts. It's really cool. Miguel said, Injustice 1 is a lot harder than Injustice 2. Um, you know what? I haven't thought of it like that. But I can definitely see how some characters, like like Batman, for example, he has better moves than Injustice 2. It's very similar, but there are some very small changes, like his back 112 or back 113. He has two new variations instead of just one. So it's way better than in Injustice 1. So... Yeah. Hudson said I haven't played Injustice 1 in so long. If I ever just if I ever say just Injustice, I'm talking about Justice 2. I figured, yeah. Um Miguel said I've tried doing combos for Batman from the second one and it didn't work. Okay, Barry, it didn't work. I can't send you the clips. I'm sure we can find a solution. What did it say though specifically? Um But you can always type them. You can always type them to me. It'll work just as well. Um <laughs> Hudson said, the way you just phrased that, that's not true. Batman loves his mom, his dad, and his dick, Grayson. <laughs> I spelled that wrong on purpose. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll make a funny moments of this. Yeah. The only thing is that it takes a very long time to make those videos because like, you have to edit like throughout the entire stream and do it again. But I actually really do like watching these things back, especially because you guys, you know, you guys are the best in the chat, you know? Okay, it says... He said, Miguel, FY, I might have to upload to the network first. And Miguel says, I, it says you cannot send clips. Um, yeah, yeah, you might have to connect to the network or internet, which you probably are. But if you're not, just double check to make sure that the router is all good. And we'll figure something out. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the best. And dude, it was so nice to see you here today, Miguel, and uh, to talk to you. It's, I think this is the first time. We had a chat live, so that was pretty awesome. Fantastic to meet you. And Hudson, once again, man. Bro, you're the homie, bro. <laughs> Always good to see you. All right, guys. Have a fantastic night. Stay, stay safe, stay sound, stay whelmed. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's live stream, 9 o'clock p.m. All right, y'all. Time for the daily awkward pause as I end the stream. <laughs>